Like, uh, hey. how much of the story is it? The whole, the whole scene. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm re dude, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Hello. Hey. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Going well. <sighs> what up? My eyebrows are wriggling. You guys ready for some, uh... I'm ready to drop another candle. Let's do it. The end of... <laughs> all right. Hello. Welcome, one and all. We've been gone for a bit, and it seemed like forever, but we're back. Hello. So, let's go ahead and get everybody caught back up on what happened last time. Uh, last time... <clears throat> Are you sure you want to do that? Our heroes, uh, dropped a candle. Or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. And due to an explosion, uh, that happened to be next to some magical artifacts, were sent through a prismatic rift. Mm -hmm. And that is where we will be picking up. Oh boy. So, what do our characters know beyond, I unleashed a fireball, and now we're on a whale? Well, you don't know you're on a whale yet. Because, as soon as the fireball drops and the prismatic rift opens, uh, and moments before the uh, violet servant erupts out from, uh, from the other pieces of, of knowledge strewn about the tent, your characters disappear into a kaleidoscopic array of colors shifting forms and shapes, falling through the astral sea at a blinding and sickening speed. Until finally, you cross this vast expanse of space, and you find yourselves hurtling towards a massive creature, a creature whose size is incalculable to you. It's wide. And you enter through its small. And when you think all else is lost, that you have been consumed by this impossibly huge beast, you instead awaken on the docks of a city. Oh boy. Show me this map. I'm ready. I want to see it. All right. So there's probably going to be a lot of breaks because i'm gonna have to explain a lot of what you see that's uh, all good <clears throat> but this is where you are i'm gonna assume that we don't know that ronnie is currently dead and corrupted uh no not for sure gotcha. um is this map so, two or map we, three we saw a brief glimpse of the violet servant as it was unleashed and as adventurers, I think we could surmise that that thing is evil. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I was gonna say. Tent. I was gonna say. How long did we actually get to look at it from like, inside the tent? Like a second. Mm -hmm. I didn't see it then. Enough. Enough to know that things <laughs> I'm are bad. directly at Scrumpo with a fireball. <laughs> All right. Let me know when you're loaded. I'm almost there. I'm always loaded. I'm always loaded. But no, not yet. Oh yeah, this is the hyperbolic time whale. <laughs> yeah, Forgot. we're going to go over I'm a in. lot of stuff. Yeah, I feel like it. <laughs> I feel like that's sort of inevitable for this session. Is Big Pipe supposed to have sight? What do you mean sight? Sight uh, beyond yeah. sight! Okay, so... I can see real good. That means when, anything. Never mind. When, when we're on this dock, is it like we fell off a ledge and we like landed here, or do we like land on our feet, or like what happened? All right. So is everyone loaded? No. I'm in. Yes. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Anyone not I'm in? So, I'm almost there. Almost there. Right. Hurry up. One more. Slap okay, your in. PC I'm harder. In. I'm in. All I'm right. in. Okay. So. As you fall through the rift, uh, which essentially is like, um, imagine the Bifrost from the Marvel movies, kind of. Like, you're right. just kind of flying through a, kaleidosco a kaleidoscope of colors and, and shapes and all sorts of shit. Okay. And you essentially land face first, smacking into the wooden planks of, of a pier on the docks the wood break of a city. Under Huck's weight. Negative. Nice. And now I get to describe as you, you know, kind of slowly stand up, blinking, where you are. So I'm going to do a quick zoom out for everybody. Uh, so. 
this is where you are. Mm -hmm. This is an ocean of stomach acid. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say. Oh. Uh, these nice. these random protrusions are uh, various bits and pieces of indigestible foodstuffs that Quarg has eaten over time, and you see that there are several ships that are currently docked within the pier, and over here you can see a crystal, uh, like a crystalline kind of stonework etched into the ground. So basically, instead of like cobblestones and and marble, they have crystals and or organic shells. And as you materialize out of nowhere, a strange man bumbles towards you, shocked and surprised. What's the smell like? <laughs> uh, it smells like springtime. <laughs> hmm. Like a, like a really heavy, like mint green, like almost overpowering, you know? Like a gotcha. like really like intense. Listerine. Yeah, yeah. Mm. This man comes stumbling towards you. Uh, he seems to be a little drunk and very surprised to see you. And he will say, Please speaking in tongues. I don't know what he's saying. Uh Huckle Huckle will work his way forward and, and tip his hat and say, Oh, howdy to you too, stranger. Uh, Hadi? Oh, Hadi! Howdy! Uh, Howell! Yeah, howdy! Howell! And point to himself. Oh, howdy, Harold. Nice to meet you. I'm Huckleberry. Uh, Blink. Try, try speaking in tongues back at him. A uh, 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 Oh, uh, oh, H Huck will turn around to Scrumpo and look Scrumpo dead in the. Uh, he'll, like, look Scrumpo and, like, come over here and lean in and he'll say, Scrumpo. You are in absolutely no position to have any ideas right now. So the next time that you have an idea, don't. And then he'll walk back over here. <laughs> I like, I, I just like quietly to myself, I like how we're blaming Scrumpo and not me. Uh, yes, what's going on? Are we all blaming each other? I uh, happen to remember being underneath my blanket quite cozy. <laughs> but, sorry. But you say, my kid, eh? What the hell? Why don't you hit that shit? Nobody got to do some idea there. Economist? Uh, Big Pipe will walk forward. He'll put his hand up. Uh, and he will start to cast various illusions to try and explain the situation via image of how In these charades. Big ex yes, we're basically doing charades. With As you start images. casting illusions, he'll clap. <laughs> this guy's so drunk. Poya Kananos! Hey, Pachalai! <laughs> he'll slap you on the shoulder. Poya Tamanas! Hey, uh, he'll point to his mouth and he'll make mouthy sounds and then he'll, you know, tap his head and go shrug and then he'll point to himself and then gesture that you follow. Pakonos! Edenenes! I think he wants us to follow him, but I can't really quite understand. He He's looks like us. a hobo! He's gonna rob us! Oh my gosh! He does look like a hobo! Yes, we're getting yeah, robbed! <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, we're... first day, new shit. Well, I mean, I'm I'm open to new things at this point. I don't even know where we are. Bachanos, you can't eat, oi. Yeah, the man eat. Bachanos, yes, Bachanos, my friend. If he oh. tries anything, stab him. Hey, don't You're good worry. at it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me, he'd stab him if you, even if he didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> you should be able to understand me now. Wait, whoa, Ooh. wait, hold up. Hey, I cannot. Oh, that's the much hell? better, isn't it? Sorry, friends, I did not mean to be so confusing to you. Why can I understand you? He'll uh, tap his staff into the crystal. The blessings of Quirk, of course. Oh, what, what's Quirk? Quirk? Oh, you do not know anything. You truly are strangers. This is a blessed day. Me, Howell Geats, getting to introduce strangers to Quirk. I never thought such a day would come. Uh, this is going to sound, I guess, weird. Where are we? <sighs> yes, I understand that you are probably very confused. Hmm, I wonder, did the great... 
Did the great quarter eat you normally, or did you fly through here through some errant happenstance, eh? Well, funny one. story that you should ask how we got here, because I can tell you right now that it's completely accidental. And nobody in our party is to blame for it, even at all. <laughs> Especially not these two. And I point at Scrumpo, and then I point at Big Pipe. I don't know Scrumpo what you're talking shrugged. about. That was Scrumpo oddly shrugged. specific. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it oddly specific? It's almost like I couldn't just pull out a crazy theory about how we got here out of thin air. <laughs> yeah. I hate to keep bringing it up, but you could be sucking my toes right now. <laughs> That's quite true. <laughs> Well, in either case, I know that you are probably very confused and lost, but fear not, friends. At Quirk, we welcome all strangers. Oh, thank God. I can Ooh. tell you this, that you will find no harm within these walls of Heart City. And then he'll gesture above him. And for the first time, uh, through the fog and clouds, they will sort of part, and you will see an enormous rib cage as your... Ooh. As your uh, skyline. Uh, ceiling? Yeah. Nice. And... At the very top of this kind of city is a large beating organ, which you recognize possibly to be a literal heart. And the city is built around it and even atop guy, it. Guy begins drooling, entranced. <laughs> <laughs> Hold Come on, I'm gonna... Oh, yes. So, uh, what's that stuff out there uh, in the ocean? Shut uh... Ah, that is the boiling sea, my friend. Boiling sheet, huh? Yes. That doesn't sound um, very friendly at all. Ah, it is a, it's a place of glory. Uh, you might want to come. Oh, right. You, you've yet yes, to worry about that. <laughs> we're going to have to get you uh, some crystals so that you can walk outside. Wait, hold on. Why are you being so friendly? Yeah. Because you are lost. You are strangers, just as I was many years ago. As all denizens of Quirk that were not born here are. You still look lost, I'm sorry. And unshowered. I'm not sure what you mean, but... That's fine. <laughs> Listen, how did you get here? <sighs> He'll look listfully to the left as wind blows through his hair. Oh my god. That is a tale, perhaps, for another time. Oh. Uh, Huck will kind of look around him and kind of see what he's looking at. Is there? Is he there's, looking at anything? No, there's nothing there. He's just oh. he's flashbacking right now. Oh, he's <laughs> just kind of like looking and being like, "What, what is he looking at?" I'm <laughs> take a, I take a small, tiny piece of rope and slowly dip it into the water. Does it dissolve? Yes. <laughs> Would I? Um, do I believe that any of my vials would be able to hold this liquid or not? Uh, well, as you start to, um, I guess maybe even look at them, it will go, I, I would not suggest to do that, my friend. I, to put anything into the boiling sea is quite dangerous. There's a boat in it right there, you fool. <laughs> yes, which has been specially designed to do so. <laughs> well, they're not anything. I, I meant that he probably possesses. What is he saying? <laughs> you can understand me when I'm standing on it. Oh, okay. Okay, I didn't know how quite can't how you? it quite. Well that I switch I switch languages when, when you can't, so Oh okay. What does he say? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, the gems seem to not be working. His ears are metal. They are? I, I yeah. suppose. He's half golem. Yeah, He's I'm a monster construct. That I'd like knock on my head. An abomination. <laughs> well, friends, as most strangers must have a place to go, I will take you to the stranger's stop. It is a place that caters to your kind, and that you may wait, become wait, wait. acclimated. More questions. How many strangers do you usually get around here? Yeah. Well, it depends entirely upon uh, the activities of our great Lord Gwerg. Sometimes we get many strangers when he oopsie doodles. Other times <laughs> we go many years without any. I'm um, sorry, when he what is it, an oopsie doodle? Ah, yes, it is when the great Quirk, uh, hits something. What do you mean, hits something? Wait, are we moving right now? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, we are currently hurtling through the astral sea at an alarming speed. 
Oh my God! Oh great! Wait, so wait. Uh, just because Scrumpo decided to steal a scroll from somebody when it didn't belong to him, by the way, we're all hurtling through space. But no, at thousands been... of miles an hour. Great! Let's make some fucking lemonade out of this. Okay. Your you friend is too? your friend is very excitable. Hold on. <laughs> God damn it! I love. He said fuck. the f word and the stream died. Am I back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're back. Oh, um, stop snitching on me. All right, all right. No, I know it wasn't all your fault. And uh, he'll like sort of shoot an icy glare over at Big Pipe. <laughs> I don't know what he's looking at me for. This guy's gonna oh, think I I'm think a thief. You do. Hey, wait, hold on a second. Where's the translator's corpse? Wouldn't that also be teleported? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like that laugh. <laughs> In either case, I, mean, been digested. I needed that. In either case, um, yes, well, I'm sure that you have many questions, but um, it is best that we get you inside. We are going to get some of the drink in you, uh, lest you start to hemorrhage. Wait, wait, what? There's a lot of... Sorry, sure. hemorrhage is not really one word that you use talking about dehydration, so... Oh, uh, you see, uh, it takes some time for one to get acclimated to Quirk's, um, shifting atmosphere. Uh, well, it, just come with me. Come on! Uh, all right, all right. Hey, hey, here we go. All right, hemorrhaging is one of my favorite things. <laughs> I like it when that happens. You don't have to work as hard. <laughs> Alright, he leads you down a street made out of more of these crystals. And you can also see that there's even quartz. Uh, you guys should be able to see on the map, like the quartz and kind of yeah. shifting colors. So that's, this kind of gives you an idea that this place, this place is not, looks, it's not made of... Dope. Yeah, it's not made of stone. It's made out of like mineral crystals and um, organic... Uh, God, what would you even call that? I guess growth, but there's another word. There's a better word for it. I can't think of it right now. Uh, but anyway, he leads you over here. Formations, yeah, probably. Boom. And he moves you up to here, and he says, <clears throat> Welcome to the Stranger's Stop. And he opens this gate into a, into a like, French-style villa courtyard. Kind of give you an idea. All right. Yeah, hang on. Is this wow. an orphanage for adventurers? <laughs> <laughs> Is this He's dropping and, us off? No one's and, ever gonna adopt nobody's us. Nobody's gonna pick us up. <laughs> At least put a blanket on us Wait, or something. What if we're dead? Hold, are we dead right now? You uh, would tell us if we're dead, right? Big no, Pipe walks up to different. Scrumpo and slaps him very hard. <laughs> Ow! Nah, you felt that. I don't think you're dead. Hey, look, interiors. I think we might be dead. This is like a shared nightmare. Oh, God, if I'm dead, I definitely don't want to spend the afterlife with, well, <laughs> no, never mind. Fucking, where's Scrumpo? God damn it. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Where Rob. is Scrumpo? Robin. <laughs> if you ever have to ask that question, usually something bad's about to happen. <laughs> Where are you, Robin? <laughs> oh. Every time we turn away and we look back, every time he's got something else that doesn't belong to him in his hands. Like the camera pans away and then it pans back. He's got like a crown on. Let me know when you're loaded. <laughs> I'm, I'm loaded. I'm loaded. Yeah, I yeah, see yeah. a lot of fun characters. All right, he opens the gate. Come in, friends. All right, so now I got to describe this. So, all of the like all the furniture in here is made out of crystals and more yeah. growth, like described before. So you've got like these ruby tables and Ooh. and chairs and the topaz stools and things like that. He will then call out, <clears throat> "Tomen, uh, Tomen, are you there?" And this man will approach. He's got a halo. <laughs> All right, so the man that approaches you is surrounded by a silver like liquid that kind of coalesces behind him like the like the halo that it it represents, but it kind of shifts and changes as he moves. There's also very small diamonds that are floating around his his like head. Uh for those of you that aren't familiar with the more um Faerunian D&D &D terms, these are called ion stones. Ion stones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And an ion, and an ion stone. Mm -hmm. For those that don't know what that is, is uh, basically these 
um, the slotless, like slotless magic items that float around a character that can provide various benefits. Does my character know about them? Uh, you have heard of them, but they are incredibly rare on Kalkatesh. Um, in fact, many believe that there's no more of them left. Gotcha. So. The elves squandered them all. <laughs> <laughs> Always with the elves. Anyway, greetings, friends. I am Toman Reyes. I am the proprietor of the Stranger's Stop. You are obviously strangers, so we shall get you the drink. Oh, thank goodness! Uh, uh, the drink? Uh, That's what, good hospitality, you... sure, yeah. What are we going to be drinking exactly? Please, take a is, seat. Is it free? Okay. Right here. If you are feeling uh, lightheaded, let me know. Are we feeling lightheaded? Not well, you yet. just walked away. All right, he will return a few minutes later. You notice that he's moving very quickly. Now, almost like in a desperate state. Here you are. Go ahead and drink these up. The car pounds it like a shot. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, what, what exactly Damn. are we... Uh, oh, well, they're just uh, going to town then. Uh, what exactly what it taste is like? this? All right, so it tastes like... Um, have you ever had... Stale lemonade. Yeah. Mm. It's like that. Kind of like, oh, mm -hmm. this is really uncomfortably sweet. <laughs> yeah, something like that. That was great. And he will say, <clears throat> well, I... Did all of you drink it? He'll check the cups. Uh, yes. I haven't drank it yet. Uh, I'm I has swallowed his completely. I haven't drank Big it Pipe yet. Big Pipe has drank his. Uh, Huck will look down and say, No, I don't want to be rude or, you know, yes, say no to any hospitality, but he'll, what exactly am I putting in my body here? He'll take a little bit, drink a little bit himself, and give it back to you. It is not poison, <clears throat> but you must drink quickly. Well, that doesn't narrow it down a whole lot, if I'm being honest with you. Very well. It is... How to say? It is the ooze from the mind of Quirk. Oh, great, we're drinking brain ooze. Well, why yeah. didn't you say so? Why do I need to drink this? Because if you do not, <laughs> the psionic backlash of Quergs' memories, thoughts, and dreams will hemorrhage your body until you are nothing but a paste. Wow. Wow, that sounds mm. great. Go ahead, Huck. I mean, brain, brain I'll, I'll... juice is a delicacy in the rift. I'll <laughs> keep it in detail. Oh, uh, I'll do it, but... Not gonna like it. Uh, he'll hold his nose and drink it. All right, you uh, you drink it and it's oddly sweet, kind of gross a little. And then he will say, "Oh, thank goodness!" And then right as you drink it, there is a <laughs> almost like a gong sounding in the distance. <laughs> you Did you guys hear a woo? And then you uh see that everybody in the area quickly grabs their cups and like braces themselves like nonchalantly as the entire area begins to shake like an earthquake you feel you feel you feel intense thoughts memories emotions kind of waft over you and you feel it kind of blocked by something and then it passes we got to them in time thank goodness Ah, so that's the thing that would have turned us into sludge. Indeed. I assure you that Great Quirg means no offense. It is simply the cost of living within his body. So, so wait a minute, that wasn't like an uh, analogy. We're really inside a big whale. Yes. Well, no, we're tiny. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, did we get shrunk? Is it a normal-sized whale and he's really... <laughs> And we're small, or is he huge? <laughs> we're dead. This, we're, this is our afterlife. Don't, don't focus on the details too much, Huck. It is, right. it is that he is large. But from whose perspective? From <laughs> our perspective. <laughs> so we shrunk. <laughs> I feel as if you were trying to fuck with him. <laughs> I, don't, I don't feel smaller. I think everything's about the same. In either case, I will be here to answer any questions that you have. It is my duty to assist any strangers, and you have done well. Who's the ch who's in charge? Ah, our leaders, well, they are based off of a council uh, that rule in the spire. 
Uh, maybe I'm missing the obvious question here, but how do we get out? <laughs> Why Tolman, would you want to get out? Tolman uh, will look very sad at that, and he will say, There are many that ask that question. I always attempt to steer them away from such questions, as I fear it will lead them to depression and insanity. As it has some. Well, we're already sort of at that uh, bus stop, if you know what yeah, I mean. Listen, <laughs> if you knew what we've halfway. been through, the... we're about halfway there on both of those shows. They don't speak for me. I'm a stable genius. He's he's fine, but you know, very well. He will take a seat. As will Howell. Just give it to us straight. Is there a way off? Well. <clears throat> I will explain the long and short of it. Most that come to Quarig never leave. It is not because the Great Whale does not wish that you find your way back to your home. It is that, well, it is difficult for such returns to happen. The Great Whale is aware of us and thankful for us, but its thoughts are old and wide be how to, how to explain oh i think i can do that go ahead howell you see when you walk through the forest my friends and your boot happens upon an ant you are aware that the ant is there you may not wish to harm the ant but the ant does not control your boot it is similar to the same well i don't wear boots so you lost me of course. Wait, wait, he's saying that that we are so far below the purview of this giant whale. Oh, so you're saying that scrumple, that was surprisingly <laughs> This whale wouldn't miss a little teensy bit of blood. <laughs> oh, you are. Oh, I see. You are one of the thirsted. Uh, yes, I have something well, for that you. That was quite accusatory. Wait, this guy sells blood? <laughs> oh, there are many of his kind. Oh. oh? What? I have some blood on me, too! A show of brothers? Well, yes. You are not the first of your kind to make their <clears throat> way to Quirk. In fact, it is said that some of the first were of your kind. There is, <laughs> there is a panel, there is a vein that is specifically uh, given towards your kind so that you may feed to your heart's content. Wait, the whale's vein? Uh -oh. Yes. Oh, a... I'm oh, sorry. My... Well, I'm I mean, to be here. fair, with how big he is, I don't imagine it would be very hard to sustain Guy. I have great demands. <laughs> In either case. <clears throat> this, that... Hold on, sir. I'm sorry to interrupt. This place seems too good to be real. Well, it is not as if we don't have our own problems. We Like what? Well, there are the cultists of the Upside Down. There are... The various... Excuse, wait, whoa, 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 back up. Cultists of the Upside Down? Yes. You... Wait, hold on. Hang on, hang on a second. First of all, wait, what's your name again? Toman? Well, I, first of I all, am Toman I... Rays. Toman Rays. First of all, fantastic mustache. I love it. Well, well done. First of all. That's Secondly, high praise coming from someone of your caliber of stash. Oh, well, you flatter me. Oh, what the hell's the Upside Down? Well, it is a belief amongst some that live within Quirg that they believe the only way they can return back to their homes is to turn the Great Whale upside down. And thus they have been constantly trying to fight their way into the Optic Academy what? to take control of the brain. What? Well, again, upside down from whose perspective? As Does in, that mean <laughs> the whale's you, perspective? Uh, a, a I mean, if you think a, about a, it, a he literal, could already be upside down. A, He's a whale. It is, it is not the case. He is not upside down. <laughs> you are very quick to just uh, believe that. <laughs> well, there is proof of it. Yes. Yeah, they said they had a university. In, in either case, these cultists believe that turning Quirk upside down will take them home. Ah. <sighs> All it will do is destroy everyone that lives here. What? Well, no point up. Do you see how we have built all of our structures and homes? And then he will point to the sea. And that will eat through everything. Oh. So if we were to turn upside down, he'll go, 
all of the stomach acid would then dissolve everything here. Mm. Indeed. Wait, the acid, would the acid dissolve the crystals too? Yes. Damn. So you mean to tell me this entire time Quirk has maintained perfect balance and never gone slightly uh, to the left Not perfect or right? balance. Sometimes there is tides. We call them the bank times. But we have made what we can to prevent damage during that time. And there are our storms whenever he gets an upset stomach. And there is, of course, the occasional whoopsie doodle. He'll kind oh, of shudder. You rubbish, you rubbish back and give him a blankie. We cannot reach his back. That is the forbidden place. How long have you been here? I have lived here my whole life. What? How You're long is that? Here? I am 27. Your parents live here then? Upon hearing yes. that, I'll, um, I want to ask. 27, does time flow differently here? <laughs> A common question from strangers. Yes. The dilation of the perception of time is different within Quirg. Different between this nebula. Where is it that you hail from? Perhaps I've heard of it. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to... Well, I was going to say, um... Fuck, now I can't remember the name of the desert. Magital. Magital. Yeah. I've not Magital. heard of such a place. What? Have you heard of Leave? No. Have you heard of... Scareblorge, Beetledooch, Calcatesh? The Lords of Flowing Water? Yeah, that's us. No. Have you heard, have you heard of... What do you mean you haven't heard of the Lord of the Flowing Water? Have you heard of Ord? I, I will brandish the staff and I will tr attempt to summon uh, the guide. Womp, 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 womp. Uh, uh, I'll do it again. Baba Booey! Tillman will raise an eyebrow. Wait, hold on. You, you said that... Wait, hey, a car. Yes? As you know, we both worship Seculcuse. Yes? You are, you are very in touch with your divine aspect. Try talking to your god. What would you like me to ask him? Anything. Ask I... him on a date. <laughs> uh, Ikar casts Augury and asks Seclacuz if Scrumpo had not stabbed the guy, <laughs> if things would be better for us. As you uh, cast Augury and attempt to call out towards Seclacuz, you hear nothing. All you hear oh, no. is the strange undulations of Quergs mind as he sleep flies through the Astral Sea. No, I can't. Holy crap. <laughs> See, I Where told are we? Religion is bullshit. <laughs> 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 We're in a place where you can't even talk to your god. So if I might reiterate my original query, how do we leave? There are few that would know a way out. Or it is so dangerous to try. You could speak to Arendelle. He might know. Oh yes, what? Arendelle would know. What about the lady with the tail over there? And then he points over here to the corner. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> oh, uh, she would not know. But she would try to sell you the fact that she does. Oh... Speaking they'd, of, they'd buy it. They'd straight up buy uh, it. Speaking of buying and selling, we do come from a rather rich place, but <laughs> how can, exactly can we determine the value of what we have now? Yeah, what's your monetary unit around here? Do you want some I mean, more dishes? Look, man, we need some money real bad. Do you need any particular favors? Ah, currency. Very good. Currency within Quirk is not through gold and silver. I just slapped my hands on the desk. <laughs> We're broke! <laughs> That's unfortunate. He will then reach in and he will pull out... Oh, this is going to be weird. He will... <laughs> he will put out a sack of teeth. <laughs> excuse oh, we excuse are, we me, orcs, baby. These are the currencies of, of Quirk. Holy molas. Are those uh, special, <laughs> like, baby teeth? These teeth can be found all throughout Quirk. They can be found 
growing within the walls, sprinkled within different places, and they are collected by all the creatures here and used as currency. There are some that, in my opinion, are quite crass to do so, but take the teeth from others to use. As much as I do not like the practition of stealing someone else's teeth, it is a usable currency. When you say stealing someone else's teeth, you mean like, you know, uh, advanced dentistry, right? Not yes, like stealing their wallet. Yes. Right. Uh, is there a, like a money changer or something that might accept all the silver? <laughs> it is funny that you mention that, because I can do that for you. Ah. We, oh, after all, wow. cater towards the strangers, and gold and silver is not without its use. How so it convenient. makes perfect sense to give all of our gold and silver to a complete stranger who's offering us teeth. I told you we were being robbed. Uh, well, you can Huck choose not to believe me, I suppose. Huck, well, like uncomfortably... it just seems a little odd. <laughs> um, I, I, I hold up my hand to a car. Maybe we hear him out. This what? isn't the weirdest thing that has happened to us. No, I'm willing to almost believe thing. this at face value. <laughs> This is definitely the weirdest thing. The fact that a car can't talk to his god and we haven't screwed with any weird magical artifacts is pretty damning. I think we're either dead or where we where he says no, we are. Actually, you know what's quite weird is I asked about the dead translator before I asked about the dog. What Wait! Dog? Oh my god, Roddy! Roddy! <laughs> He's probably fine. Don't worry about it. I look it. around. Where's Ronnie? Ronnie! Ronnie! I think we know. I think we know. You call out towards Ronnie, and he does not respond. I, I, I get up to a car. I grip his, like, his little cloak. Where's Ronnie? <laughs> a, a, a car, like, kind of, like, folds a wing around Big Pipe, but doesn't say anything. <laughs> Ronnie! Big Pipe cries. He's Can Big Pipe point. cry? I yes. have all the people... You leaking oil out of your eyes? Yes. I never would have thought Big Pipe would be the one to kill him. <laughs> Yeah, there is oh. a there is an irony in that for sure, yeah. But maybe you know, <laughs> out of the big, that could have been discussed like ten years from now. To be fair, it was probably the giant purple thing that showed up that killed him. Yeah, uh, causality, right? Okay, so. And I your case, fault. Look, look, I'm just saying that, that you know, in my time as a, a lesser man of lesser scruples, I you know tried to pull similar. Oh, look at these. D leaves, they're very more worth it than your gold, oh. Uh... I'm not a stranger to a scam is all I'm saying, that's all. <laughs> this guy looks too nice to scam us, he doesn't have it in him. Well, considering we were almost hemorrhaged to death by a giant psionic wave... Yeah. I think I'll just accept it. Um, actually, I had a question for you. Yes? Do people ever, uh, well, I guess I could ask this queer giver talk to y'all or does do people ever talk to Quirk? What does he say? What you like? Is he a nice whale? It is said that the soul singers can speak with Quirk. That, the, oh, well. that those of of great import can speak directly to him himself. Now that's a scam. Are these do these people hold like important society positions? Yes. They are known they... as the soul singers. Do, uh, okay, I'm just asking man to man. Can you confirm that they've actually talked to him? Many years ago, when I was but a lad, my father was in the presence of such a case. It was specifically when the Upside Down had taken the Northern District. We asked oh. Quirk for what to do, and he said that he would help us. So, you said that this cult is trying to flip the whale upside down or whatever, right? Yes. How? Uh, by controlling the brain, right? Yes. Uh, how, how many are in this cult, would you say? Yeah. The cult is numerous and spread throughout uh, the city. I, I mean, like it's a, a giant cult? whale. It can't exactly be... Uh, how, many, how many people enter? I mean, he told me just a while ago it could be years before you get a resupply of people. Yeah. Yes, but there are many places within Quirk to live. So... Oh. Like, is this like a... I'm guessing everyone hates this cult, right? It's not like a Unfortunately, thing Unfortunately, people... not everyone. There are other <laughs> outcasts that bind themselves together. Uh, uh, so they wear their colors with pride, then? Some of them. What if we murder these guys for you? Well, oh that would certainly make things better for everyone. 
Wait, hold on a second. I'm still not convinced that we're not already upside down. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible that we are upside down right now, yes. But this guy said that he has proof. Where's the proof? Who's Show us the proof. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, then wouldn't it, I mean, even if he's upside down, if you just turn him upside down again, the same result would happen. Well, then it would be the cult of the right side up. <laughs> <laughs> That's our cult. Semantics aside, the state remains the same. But I can see that you are yet still confused. Many that's, strange, that's many, not going to change. Many strangers wish to leave. And as much as I might try to convince you that you should abandon such things, I get the feeling that you're not quite the kind to listen to that sort of thing. So We're I We're not quite the kind to listen oh, to anything. No. Reason? No. Please, absolutely. Reason. <laughs> you, you can't. Oh, no, no. Don't, no. Please don't, don't take offense. We are extremely important nobles from our homeland. But yeah, if you ask me, I don't think we should go back. We weren't good at it at all. Honestly, the responsibility lifted <laughs> I mean, off my shoulder. I feel great. Yeah, you know, it was kind of nice being the Lord of Flowing Water, but it was a lot of responsibility. Hey, speaking of Lords of Flowing Water, where's your bathroom? Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hold on. Let me actually reveal the bathroom to you. <laughs> Guys, did you see that lady over there? Um, yes. I, did you see this fine fellow right over here behind us? He's definitely a vampire. I have a sense. Oh yeah, he's got the, the glowing eyes. I want him to show me to the big vein. Sure, <laughs> if you're sweet on him, go go ask if you were to buy him a drink, what you would pay for it with. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, right, uh, right, right, right away. Hold on, I'm, I don't know if you were doing the bathroom I'm, first. I'm, I'm revealing. Hey, Carl, <laughs> hey, Carl, do you feel discriminated against because the currency is something that you could never have? You know, I hadn't thought about it until just then, but uh, yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Look, I didn't choose to be born with teeth. I mean, couldn't you use your entire beak as like one really big tooth? It kind I of could, is. I could give you half of my teeth. Would that make you feel better? No, I discourage <laughs> that. Crammed in I the could... bathroom here. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy, um, enjoy your pooping. Uh, <laughs> it's, that's a it's nice like, bathroom. This is a really nice. It's got a. It's got a bath. I'm assuming this is a bath. Mm -hmm. this Literal right bathroom. Literal bath. Uh. Is this is this like a marble floor that we're on right now? More of the crystal or stuff. A crystal stuff. So Huck's kind of like slip sliding on his on his hooves a little bit. Yes. Uh, but uh, um, it, it, so is it? And there's like a sink and everything. Yeah. Does it have Does it have flowing water? Uh, yeah. Pee on the pee on the floor. Uh, so Huck's gonna turn turn the faucet on and off and just like. <laughs> all right it comes out i am the lord of flowing water <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's it he just wanted to mess around in the bathroom all, all right i gotta pee now upon seeing uh upon seeing Toman arrive again so Toman, assuming we take all of this at face value and the fact that we're using teeth to buy and sell I had a few questions about what might be available around here. Oh, there's all manner of things for purchase. I mean, this is a city after all. Uh, I sense that some of you may be keepers or channelers, so you may wish to visit the gem shop as soon as you can. Which among us do you think is a channeler? Well, this individual I sense is a channeler. Yeah. Good this call. one is probably a keeper, as uh -huh. is that one over there. Yeah. And I sense you are trouble. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, hey, you, you got like, <laughs> four for four. <laughs> He's doing a very good job. <laughs> um, but upon him saying all that, I give a quick, like, tap to my head. Anything for, mm, perhaps, say, body modification? Hmm. <laughs> perhaps you should seek out Boo Boo BB. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. The scrumpo laughs. laughs. I huckle giggle. I have a hard time keeping a straight face. Uh, uh, boo boo BB? Boo boo BB, yes. The proprietor of the gobbledygook. <laughs> I see our Arcadium completely wrote the, rewrote the campaign just for us. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Big Pipe laughs upon hearing the gobbledygook. Uh, okay. 
where might we find Boo Boo Bibi in the gobbledygook? <laughs> uh, north of here, just up the street. Hey, you mentioned a uh, university, like an ocular university, right? Yes. What's that about? Uh, the Academy of Optics is an academy that has been founded within the brain and eyes, specifically, of Quergg. It is a place of knowledge and a center of learning. It is also where many attempts are being made to find easier methods to speak with Quergg and to also control the psionic black, uh, backlashes, as it were. You know what? How did you guys figure out that eating his brain juice would make it so you guys wouldn't get exploded? That is something that has been passed down from the first, <clears throat> before the schism between them and us. Who's the first? The first are, well, the first. They were the first to settle Quergg. What, what, were, oh, were they the vampires? No, no, no. Although some, some believe that is the case, but I don't. Why not? Well, because they do not drink blood. Not all of them. Well, I... Yeah, okay, that's fair. So, who runs this university? It is ran by a council of keepers. Arendelle being one such one of them. And so... Oh, is this, is, is this the same people you mentioned earlier, though, and the ones who are in charge? Yes. Okay. How do we get an audience with them? Well, Arendelle has always been the easiest to speak to. He is the more uh, relatable, I suppose, approachable. Although he has recently traveled to the mines to the south, it is not a short, uh, or excuse me, it is not a long walk if you wish to make the journey, and he would be in a better position to inform you of what to do next. Is this the guy that's going to hire us to murder those cultists? Perhaps. So I'm always down for taking down a cult. Yeah, and this cult seems like they're pretty bad. I'm, would we be like heroes if we did that? If we like killed a bunch of them? Maybe. And wait, oh, this is a very important question. Can we take the teeth afterwards? <laughs> oh, well, oh, yeah. You kind of look a little shocked. I suppose <laughs> you could. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not like they're using them for good, right? We're re reappropriating them. Not uh, that we would, of course. Of course, <laughs> of course not. Um, <laughs> although, I, I, I think we should get down to maybe some business here. I put down the um, bag of holding. I have a question. Do Does this place know what a bag of holding is? I don't know if that's like... Ah, you have an extra dimensional space. Excellent. Ah, yes, you know what these are. Yes. There's a lot of stuff in this. I'm sure. You know, I gotta be honest, I brought up the whole murder thing to see how you guys would react, and it seems pretty clear that you guys don't really care. <laughs> is, 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 are you guys like all murderers here or something? What's going on? Oh, well, it... Fuck the cultists. Yeah, now we're down to brass tacks. I, you right. guys are the truth. Sorry, continue. Well, uh, how best we do this uh, transaction of teeth? The uh, big pipe looks into his bag. The, the stuff that we have from home. Well, show me how much gold you have, and I shall give you an appropriate amount of teeth. Have you been tracking our gold? You would have all of my gold, just so you know. Yeah, Pipe's, Pipe's been the bank, yeah. I, I've been the bank. That is everything that we have. I put it in Shattered Crowns. Great. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dump out this mountain of gold on the table. You know what? Big Pipe just slowly just starts... <laughs> he, he just starts shaking it out on the table until the table just has this massive fucking pile. I'm going to read off the list. We have 6,406 gold pieces. Uh, 20 minted gold, which are the gold bars, I think. Uh, six bags of emeralds. Whoa. Sapphires worth 3,000 gold. Five gold bars. Oh, that's the gold. Uh, a silver chalice, diamond, and silk. <laughs> like bolt, a bolt of silk. <laughs> don't we have those? And diamond have those dust and frozen mana. 
don't we have those like chests that we got too that there was stuff inside where they had like precious gems and things in them Th that's all been accounted for oh, okay okay i've been i have been a very good bank yeah okay. clap he will inform you yeah that's right so yeah. he will give you uh he will take the six thousand four hundred and six gold and he will give you 640 teeth nice You don't want any of this other stuff? I, I cannot in good conscience convert that. Is it too valuable? Uh, it is... <laughs> sure. <laughs> Wait, what? That was a serious question. Oh. Sounds uh, like a serious answer. It is, it is not something that I can do in good conscience, as I am on a... I'm not very good at determining the value of those types of things, but I can at least do a simple coin exchange. Big Pipe slowly starts scooping everything back into the bag. <laughs> uh, I assume there's a general goods merchant that might be able to convert these other items, yes? Uh, yes, you could speak with the, the, the gem merchant. Oh, perfect. Talk to that lady. She sells stuff. Oh, does she? Yeah, you, she, they were like, I, oh, but I, you can sell the I idea. I suppose that's true why don't you like that lady she's so is there pretty. something wrong with her I be just... honest wrong Listen, we can... no i just we have he'll look to the right as wind blows through his hair uh -oh. <laughs> and he'll say history oh, oh my uh, god uh, all well, of you are so dramatic it's his uh, ex-wife look over and look at what he's come with at. me a car right. He's not I looking at anything. Right. Oh, Huck will be very confused. Um, before before we leave the table, uh, Huck will say, uh, "Is there any place where you can buy, you know, uh, weapons or protection, armor, anything like that?" Hmm. You could try the general store. Oh well, you got everything there. Great, yeah. all in one location. How convenient. Well. <sighs> Boo-Boo Beebe is quite the collector. <laughs> <laughs> what is your Boo -boo store on Wee Wee Street? <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. It's on Ventricle Avenue. Oh, that makes more sense, I guess. All right. Thank you very much. See you around. Hey, guys, I just want to say, you two, you're good people. I appreciate you helping us. Of course, friend. I am so happy I got to meet a stranger. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you guys. It's kind of weird that you guys are like this. I don't think I've ever been anywhere where I'm from where people offered us to save our lives and then to be nice to us and then talk to us like this. Well, then you're not from a very kind place, are you? No. <laughs> well, friend, this is, all. this is Quirg. Where all of us are in it together. Yeah, where we come from, people usually get stabbed and then set on fire. <laughs> <laughs> on a good Real day. Standard. Say, uh, can you put in a good word for us at the university? I'll do what I can. Okay, I think we're going to try and go track down that guy at that mine. Maybe after we're done here. Take this, and he will hand Scrump away. Small parchment that's like a makeshift map. This should help you find your way to the mines. Excellent. Say we'll be back. Uh, do you mind if, is it okay if I hit on your ex-wife? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Well, he'll look to the left as wind blows through his hair. <laughs> god damn it. And then he'll say, we were never married. Oh. Said, well, maybe, oh. I, maybe I can get you guys back together. How about that? You know what? Don't worry about it, all right? I'll handle it. Pipe, everyone seems to be looking to the left. Is there something... Is Big, there something... Pipe. Big Pipe looks to the left. <laughs> There's nothing right, there. See, see you guys. Does my hair start flowing? No. Huck will also look to the left. Uh, as Scrumpo passes by Huck, Huck will, will sort of flag him down and say, Scrumpo, come here for a minute. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, Huck will lean in very close, sort of like 
kneel down so he's at Scrumbo's level. You're gonna kiss what me? What the hell were you thinking stealing <laughs> that dead dumb scroll? Look, you need to understand all these magical types like to hoard their crap and not share it with anyone, so I was just trying to take my piece. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. Hang on, darling. I'll be right back. <laughs> so you thought it was a good idea to steal a scroll that didn't belong to you, could have been cursed. In fact, wait, no, yeah. back up, was yeah, yeah. cursed. Yeah, I am. I definitely could feel it moving around my body. I, I don't know these people. <laughs> I'll get to you in a second, guy. I know you, you walked up. I, Look, I can't, I can't. I, I stay can't. in my seat and watch from a distance. It's what? important. Look, a guy like that, he's got like hundreds of scrolls. Why is he not sharing them with anyone, huh? Why is he hoarding you, the information? Uh, I know you ask, will you share this with me? No, why would he share it? Why would he do it? Why wouldn't he? You could have just asked. He didn't have like an assistant or anything like that. He was alone. Oh, he was going to pencil you in so he could have given you a cursed scroll. I didn't know that there was a process <laughs> to this. No, what I'm trying to say is, is clearly he was hoarding the information. We were about to have a fucking conversation about the information. information. Look, you don't know what kind of information we could have learned from that scroll had it not immediately activated as soon as I touched it and cursed me. No, will we ever? Oh, why are you not all black? I'm partially black. Uh, the eyeball is probably like on my body. So yeah, what is what is what is it, what is it like? So the yeah, eyeball it spreading all over him. The what eyeball happened? is basically stopped, and as you see, it's moving very very slowly. Like growing can... slowly or like looking around like, hey, what's what's over there? Like it's spreading across his body slowly. Where, oh, okay, uh, whereas okay. it was going quickly before, it's now very slow. It looks not, to the that left. I, not that I plan to intervene in any way at all. I just want to know, can the whole bar hear this? Uh, We're all yelling pretty loud. Yeah. I, I was yelling pretty Hell loud. Hell yeah. Listen, there's no, there's no way to tell. What kind of information could have been on that scroll? We could have hit the jack jackpot, you know? Like, you don't know. That's why I took it at random. Does that make sense? No, <laughs> no but it probably <laughs> does to you. <laughs> Look, we got we just got a brand new city. I was gonna start uh, collecting magic stuff for us, and we we're gonna have a whole vault like the dwarves. It was gonna be great. We need to start somewhere, even if that means stealing from some stupid guy in the middle of the desert in a tent. Oh my god, well, you we're have a here. hoarding problem. Is that where this is all it? No, it, it, was, it was for all of us. What if it was a scroll of eternal life? What if we suddenly had immortality? This guy was just, hard. oh, it's too dangerous to read, blah, blah, blah. That's what if it was just a cursed scroll that would cause you to be in pain for the rest of your life? Oh, wait, it might actually be that. I don't feel in pain, first of all. Second of all, I think it's great. It's like a tattoo. And look, it's like an eyeball. It's blinking sometimes. And I've named him Tom. And we're, <laughs> we're hanging out all the time. Tom. Yeah, I named him Tom. What about it? Nah, that was just a clarification. Continue. Okay. Point is, I sacrificed my body for our mutual goal. Which is mutual is a strong word. <laughs> Do we even know anything about Tom? What's your like? What's what are his likes and dislikes? He he whispers faintly against the membranes of my brain, of which you are in chain. No. Okay. Um, well, yes. What does he tell you? I don't know. I can't tell. All right. So he whispers something. And yeah, it, it's like it's like it, it, like uh, indistinguishable whispering. It's like, and then it stops. All right. Um. Okay. Look, uh, don't worry about me. As far as we know, that guy just panicked because he was mad that I stole from him. You, you don't know. <laughs> what if it's not a curse? What if I'm more powerful now? Even more powerful than I was before. You are already pretty powerful, Scrumpo. I don't know if you can handle that much responsibility. Well, see, that's the thing. I just want you guys to know that I was just trying to look out for us, you know, because you guys are all I got. And it, oh. it, 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 the fact that this guy was just sitting on a mountain of magical things, like we just, we, we were, we needed, our borders are barely established at Calcatesh. It was important that we get any leg up that we could so that we could just, live for the rest of our lives in comfort and security 
We were royalty. We were literally <laughs> we were, the lords of We were doing water. that every fucking day. Look, that that's you don't know. You don't know what could change. What if my I do like, know I was there. Okay, so I guess the lords of flowing water are suddenly as powerful as the armies of the Inquisition or the fucking creeping death at Dalton or the Mage's Guild of Majital. We could have just easily beaten them in the field of combat. Huh? Huh? Uh, all five of us just suddenly powerful enough to hold the borders of our new city state, right? Well, well now we're, we're barely powerful enough to avoid getting dissolved by stomach acid of a giant space whale. Well, no, now we don't have anything. We're starting over. Listen, all right, all right, here. Okay, all right. <sighs> Hug like rubs his temples, sort of with his eyes closed, like he has a massive headache, which he does. Um, he'll he'll look at Scrumpo and say, "Look, Scrumpo." Which done is done. We're here. Yeah. Nothing we can do about that, except try and go home, I guess. But in the future, this is a team effort, all right? We're the lords of flowing water, not the lord of flowing water five times, all right? Yeah, I, I, so stole, in, I stole it for all of us. It wasn't just in, for me. It, in the future, if you're going to make a move like that, I want you to consult at least, at least, at least... <laughs> one other person amongst all of us, all right? If you're going to go for that, if you think it's going to help, that's fine, but talk to one other person. Tom does not count as okay. a person. <laughs> Tom doesn't count. All right, and from now, from now gonna, on, I will, I will gonna ask talk to me. And I'll let me be I'll... absolutely <laughs> clear, Scrumpo. I am an Aarakocra who can measure the rest of his days in days, not years, and I have things to do. That's, you, that's I have things life. to do on Kalkatesh, and if I find you getting in my way again, I will not hesitate to remove you. Am I clear? <laughs> oh, shit. You're gonna get voted off the island. Whoa, I wasn't oh. gonna go that far. <laughs> Icar kind of like shakes out his feathers a little bit, and then Icar. sort of walks away. Oh. Listen, I, I wasn't gonna threaten your life. Wow, that was, that was intense. You take him seriously, you hear me? The, the I lean whole, into a car. The, the whole purpose of all of this is to get the crap that they're hoarding from us so that we won't have to measure our days in days. I, I understand where you're coming from, Scrumpo. Kind of. But in the future, talk to us. It's a team effort, all right? All so right. Work with us here. Listen, next time I won't get caught. That's a step in the right direction. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it with you, Scrumpo. I'll take it. And then he walks away. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, Guy. Uh, uh, hold on one second. I have to go tell my small friend some things. <laughs> Guy, I need your help. Scrumpo, I heard everything. You're all very loud. We, you keep, keep it down. I have a couple of points that they didn't go over. This is very important. Number okay. one, I think your tattoo looks fabulous. It really I, I adds a nice so. accent to you. You're much more interesting now. Honey, it's I, working. I, I don't, oh my, I, all, I, all, I've only ever had oily, leathery skin, and now I have this, <laughs> this decoration on it. I feel like it's fantastic. Oh my god, your head when we walked through the desert, it was like a tomato. <laughs> Guy, I need your help. I need your help. That's why we're, we're a good duo. Well, listen, I need you to pretend like you're responsible so you can tell me to do stuff. <laughs> oh, oh, all right. I'll... <laughs> he adjusts his collar. I'll make it very official. Okay. But you have to help me. Listen, you don't, we don't know what kind of crap there is on this planet or wherever the hell we are. Exactly. Actually. We, we need, need to convince the others that we should join the Upside Down cult. What? Wait, you wait no, wait, hold die. on. Hear me out. You. <laughs> Listen, I, don't I know it that. sounds extreme, but You're first too of all, far away. I don't know if it's the front side up or the upside down yet. We're going to figure that out. And once we get their perspective, you know, maybe they all are crazy and then we'll kill them from the inside. Yeah, it works okay. both ways. Okay. As long as you're cool with maybe killing them anyway. Oh God, I'll be the first to smash out the teeth. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to designate a designated uh teeth puncher to to a Well, I heard we are gonna make a run on the general store. I'm sure they've got tenderizers. Oh, it sounds like they don't really approve of taking other people's teeth well, around here, so I don't know, Scrum, but all I'm saying is we're and no one knows us here. We're not part of the equation yet, so we can go up to this cult and just go, ho, oh, we're gonna join you and what do they know? We're strangers. Okay, that's a good plan. 
We could tell, we'll tell, I'm sure when we meet with that guy at the mine, if we go there, he's going to be like, oh, we don't know what to do. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I bet he's secretly a member of the Upside Down or some crap. And we're oh. going to go over there and then we're going to get into the cult and then it's going to be great. I would bet you all of my teeth that the leader of this cult is <laughs> a vampire. Yeah. Uh, why, like, are you evil secretly or I guess it's not so much of a secret. Wait, what? Oh, I mean, listen, I, when I look at you, I don't think you're evil. But... Hold, hold on a second. Do you remember when I asked the fox girl to draw me a newborn so I could eat it? <laughs> no, I did not remember. Everyone that. moved past that so fast, but I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> we were, look, we'd been in there for like a week. The, the, it was like a labyrinth. I forgot that you wanted to eat a baby. <laughs> Holy crap. All right. But you know what? Despite all that, I feel like your mind and, and your heart's in the right place. Yeah, the both of us. That's why they don't get us. They look at everything from the narrow straight. They think they're the good guys until they're throwing fireballs and blaming you for it. Well, I, first of all, I don't feel like I'm being blamed. Second of all, I don't think that they're good <laughs> per se. Uh, you know, I, I have a very broad world view. There's no black and white, good and evil for Scrumpo. For <laughs> Scrumpo. Yeah. What about everyone else? Uh, you, look, man, I grew up on the streets on, <laughs> of a ship. <laughs> 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 In the Bay of Golden. Look, I've seen And you all... never learned how to sail. No, it, well, it was a capsule. Oh, my. It didn't move. It was too oh, big. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Point is, I, I really screwed up, and I understand that. And All I'm right. sorry. Well, when we talk to the boys, we run a full circle. The both of us need to really hit them with this cult plan. That is a good plan. You should definitely okay. propose that. All right. First, I'm going to go proposition this uh, vampire over here for a moment. Okay. <laughs> good luck. Hello. Okay. <clears throat> Hey. You're definitely a vampire, right? Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not off on this. Vampire? Me? No. Oh, right, that, that seals it. So where's this vein I've been hearing about? <laughs> I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Why are you playing coy with me, boy? But let me ask you something. Yes? Have you ever felt... wrong side up? Yes? Then perhaps there is something that we can discuss. My whole childhood. Oh. <laughs> Tell me about it. Well... <laughs> you should skip time ahead and come back an hour later to guy crying. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Meanwhile... He's getting, his, he's getting his eaten. <laughs> Meanwhile, over here... It just never felt right growing up. My mommy always hit me and my daddy didn't help. Oh my god. Alright, we'll come back to Guy's breakdown. Alright. And this lady will, uh, as you approach, she will go, Oh, darlings, welcome. How can Karen help you? It would be named Karen. Yeah. I actually don't remember why we came over here. Uh, because she, we were told that she was a merchant. Oh. Well, he, they, the guy mentioned that she would sell us the idea of something. So oh, that, right, 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 right. <clears throat> so we hear that you are a, a merchant. We were just talking to Thomas. Oh, darling, I'm a merchant, all right. Karen Callis, at your service. We're a bit new here, and uh, we just recently traded out the gold, and now I'm wondering if that was a good idea. We just have a bunch of teeth. Is this actually what y'all trade in? Oh yes, darling. We trade in all sorts of teeth. Molars, incisors, bicuspids. Oh. Supposed to stop somebody from taking a molar and cracking it in two to make two teeth. <laughs> well, the concept of value and completeness, I suppose. Yeah, right. Dollar okay. bill in half, you have two dollars. <laughs> so, so, what are you selling, exactly? Well, that depends on what it is that you need, darling. I sell all sorts of things. I sell weapons, armor, 
magic, people, food, anything. Uh, when you say people, you wouldn't happen to happen to know, say, uh, a halfling by any chance, would you? <laughs> oh, oh for fuck's sake. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> Big Pipe starts to lean in. Leans into the table. You see, back on our home place, before we were on this whale, I was beginning some experimentation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was told that... I uh... hate everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> The car. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hey, car. You want to go get blasted? <laughs> uh, I think that's where I am right now. Yeah, I think. Wait. I think that's all that. It, what? Oh, I need to talk to you. But uh, Baru should finish first. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go on, please. You were asking me about a halfling. <laughs> yes, I'm a. I like to tinker with things. Those things that I probably shouldn't. I mm -hmm. reveal the uh, vial of blue moss. Oh. Do you have any idea what this might be? Well, I need to take a look at it, darling. I hand over the, the blue moss vial. She's going to eat it and die. <laughs> she'll take a look at it and then she'll go, hmm, most interesting. I'll have to see if my keeper can identify it. What is it? Sort of like a blue ice moss that slowly takes over organic material. Oh, an infection point. That is most useful. What is its catalyst? Uh, I think it'll spread to anything living. Hmm. I see. And why oh, have you I'm... shown me this? Do you wish to sell it? No, actually, I wish to buy a halfling. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that I can provide for you. Quick mechanical question. Could we put the halfling in the bag of holding? How does that work? You can. They would suffocate because there's no air in there. But <laughs> <Okay>. yes. <laughs> so what you're saying is I could put a halfling and the moss inside the bag of holding. Yes. I am not a good character. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think that there would, there would be oxygen in there. <laughs> committed, and I respect it. I am full-on mad alchemist. That will be 300 I... teeth, dog. 300 teeth? Yes. Hmm. There are uh, a few other things from our world that we're looking to also, I guess, convert to teeth. She'll raise uh, an eyebrow. What do you mean? Well, we have various goods, relics, uh, different gems of sorts. <laughs> She'll uh, raise an eyebrow. I'm not really in the market for gems, darling. Let's see. I'm trying to look through the list of what would be on the list of something that she might be interested in. And there's only two things that I see that she might be interested in. Well, there's only two things that someone of your stature might actually be worth, or uh, rather interested in. Hey, Pipe, don't go spending all our teeth. I need to get a new shed of armor. I'm not spending anything right this very second. Don't L worry. Listen. I don't know how much it costs, maybe K999, but whatever. <laughs> wow. Gotta go buy it from Poo Poo Pee Pee or whatever their name is. <laughs> uh, he'll that was... pull out of the bag frozen mana. Hmm. Oh, that's an interesting <laughs> style of crystal, darling. I could purchase that from you if you'd wish. How much? I'll give you a hundred teeth for it. Would I do an ins can I do an insight check to see if that's actually a good value? You could try. All right. Because I really don't want to get scammed at the same time. What's this crystal? Would it be perception yourself? or insight? The frozen mana. 
that you guys found. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. Unfortunate, probably. Uh, here's what you do know. You have a healthy skepticism that this lady is probably not going to deal completely straight with you. But then again, you're also not in any position because she is a native of this world. And, uh, you know, who else are you going to sell it to? True. I mean, I'm going to shop around for options first, but I'm just trying to get my general, like, what's my first perspective? Essentially, you don't think she's trying to scam you. She's trying to make a profit just like any other merchant you would ever speak to is trying to do. Gotcha. Uh, there is, however, a distinct earnestness in her dealings, um, but it almost feels unnatural. Like she's being forced to be earnest. Hmm. Gotcha. And then I guess the last thing I have is something that I just came and acquired recently. Although I don't quite know the... I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure if it's even valuable. And Big Pipe will show the vial of the uh, purple blood. Oh my. Now that is something. Yes. Something indeed. I would be willing to purchase that for 1,000 teeth. Uh. One. What is this that you would... I mean, I'm looking at all the... I'm looking at the things that I've had previous and the gold. We just... There was so much gold that we just traded that was, that was worth 600. And this is 1,000? What is this? That, my dear stranger that is a potential for a violet crystal one that I would very much like to have what is a violet crystal ah you have not been informed of the crystals yet very well no. I shall do so the magic in the world of Querg is different from what you are going to be used to as a keeper or a channeler for you see, your magic is lost and is not retained through the natural methods of the world. Your rest, your body, will not replenish your mana naturally. You will need to find crystalline substances to do this for you. And they, in the order of their strength, are represented in the following spectrums. White, cred, orange, yellow, green, blue... Indigo, black, prism, and violet. And I take it that violet is at the top of that list. Oh, yes. Very interesting. I'm very interested. How might you convert, how might you convert this into a crystal? Well, I'm not going to tell you that, because then you'll be unlikely to sell it to me. Fair enough. <laughs> I will ask, what uses for these various crystals? I mean, you say a white crystal or a red or an orange and so on and so forth. What makes them any real different if we're just using them to replenish ourselves? Is it just... Well, they oh. represent the power of one's magic. They can be used to replenish the magic that you have lost, but they can also be used to perform great works that that magic would therefore be used for anyway. So any normal person, if they wield such a crystal, is capable of such magic. They can so, be used in various... It depends on the vessel used, of course. She will then pull out a fucking gun. <laughs> and she will show you a pistol, which has an orange crystal in the top of it. This, for example, I am now a capable keeper with an application of crystalline magic. What is that device? It is a vessel. Do we know, do we know what guns are? No. And so these, the... these, these aren't guns. I just said that so you'd know what the hell she's holding. But they're called gotcha. vessels. Uh, what they are is they are devices that allow um, the crystals that she just told you about to be used as sort of mage tech firearms so that gotcha. anybody can use magic, not just those blessed with so access am, to it. So am I understanding this correctly that technically... A violet crystal could be used to cast like a ninth level spell. Tenth level. Tenth level spell. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. <laughs> Are they limited uh, use? Or would, it, or would it just be a one-time thing? She will respond with, Well, it depends entirely on the e efficacy of the vessel. Some vessels are not very good, and they use the energy of the crystal inefficiently. Mine, however, is quite good. But even it has its uses, I suppose. Oh my god, we can do fix- Oh my god, we can do fix boat. Hell yeah. It's here. Fix boat. The dream. Okay, question. This is it. This, this is like an out-of-character question. So... It's the spectral sea. Querg is swimming through it, thus making him a boat. Can we fix Querg? With Quer fix boat. Querg is not a boat. <laughs> he is like a boat. <laughs> Querg is, in fact, a creature and not a vehicle. <laughs> He's like a vehicle. He's like a boat. <laughs> well, no. <All> right. <laughs> that is not how that works. Upon hearing the value of this liquid, um, I think it best to shop around a bit because this is interesting. It has a lot of value. It has a lot of weight to it. I've now also revealed that I have it. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. Sure not. Best not to put yourself in danger. A thousand teeth is quite the offer. Although... I will more than likely come back to you about that halfling. They might, the others might not be so happy with my plans of it. But I thank you for your time. The choice is yours. She will wrap her fingers on the table uh, as if annoyed. And then you see that her uh, body language shifts again from an oh, external no. force. As she smiles, I do hope you find whatever it is you're looking for. Uh-oh. She's angry. But Big Pipe doesn't care. And will nod and slowly walk back to the party. All right. Okay, I want to I wanna say to uh, a car. Hey, a car, listen. I'm sorry. I didn't know. But I promise that I will find a way for you to have eternal life. I, um, that's not really... Look, if there isn't anyone here who knows the value of redemption, it's me. All right, we're fine. But okay. my path leads back to Kalkatesh as quickly as possible. Yeah, we'll Before. get back. Don't worry. And then we're going to find a way for you to live forever. Again, not really. The, okay, fine. Yes. Don't worry. Hey, guys. I'd uh, stroll into this conversation as they finish. How do y'all feel about halflings? They're lesser gnomes. <laughs> oh, how, would, how would you feel if we added a halfling to our party? Temporarily. Look, I was sitting at a table with you, Pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you, no. can do what, you can do whatever you want. I don't care. I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> so... What you're describing is biological experimentation. That's it. You've got it. I thought it was slavery. It's, it's not. I mean, it's it's kind of like slavery, but very temporary. Uh. Extremely. Okay. Look, I don't care. <laughs> I need to make that abundantly clear. Beyond all of us right now, I don't care what happens to anybody. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> what exactly? Car, car is just like do? staring blankly. Like, <laughs> what? What? Are you, what's your goal? Are you gonna like? Are you gonna bring him back from the dead? Huck. Huck walks out the front door. <laughs> well, you see, the idea is that this monster can grow. With, uh, I, I just gonna imagine. I just go through this long. Oh, yes, that's, that's very interesting. I understand basically, most of that. Basically, I need to turn him into a giant mossicle and then harvest him. For what? For more moss? <laughs> yes. Holy crap. Wait, did... 
Hold on. Did you try selling the moss to that lady? I did. How much money did she want for it? It was like 100 teeth. So we could make infinite money if we use the halfling. That's the idea. That's we just like, I mean, we just chip off a little bit. Maybe it'll grow back. <laughs> Would she <laughs> that's, like, that's not how economics works, but all what, right. What, yeah, what if we crash the market? <laughs> <laughs> I'm back, baby. That's a very good idea. And then he'll, uh, he'll pull Scrumpo to the side and show yeah. him the vial. She was willing to pay a thousand teeth for this. What, the purple stuff? Yeah. Is a thousand a lot around here? I don't know, but that was like all, that's like double all the gold that we've collected. <laughs> uh, that's not a good, I don't like that role. What well, is she, Well, does she hear me? Is she, hey. see, what, is she hearing or seeing? Just tell me now. Please oh, continue. Yeah, we're talking. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, if it's, if, if it's that valuable, we need to hide it right. or keep it safe. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to do that, though. <laughs> what do you propose? Are you just going to keep it in the bag? I Strap I the don't... bag around your neck. That seems like a very poor place to put it. Well, if it's in the bag, no one will know it's in there. It's just the bag hanging around your neck. I mean, what if it breaks inside there? Wait, was it not in the bag before? No, I've been holding it on my person. I can put it in my fundoshi. I don't trust that. Why not? There's nothing I, in there. <laughs> okay, listen, it's not the fundoshi. I just don't trust you. <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> Do I? <laughs> but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna drink it. <laughs> Let's no go one, join the others. No one goes in there, big pipe. It would be safe. Uh, you see, I'd rather I I'm, I plan on retrieving the vial at some point. Yeah, I'll, and I'll, I'll I wash don't. It. No. <laughs> okay. How's Guy doing? Guy has been unpacking nearly a century of baggage on this poor man, <laughs> Horatially <laughs> centered around the idea that he's a half blood and unworthy. His deep insecurities. Uh, guy, are you okay? <laughs> you, you, this is a private conversation. <laughs> Horatio will nod and 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 just lightly, just pat Guy's hand. Thank you. It's all right. They don't know how to listen. <laughs> I'll listen to you anytime. Uh, shoo! We we were going to talk about things. I mean, we're gonna go see the uh, poo poo Bobby or something. Uh, yes, I'll, I'll see you at pee pee poo poos. Okay. <laughs> Not to be confused with Baba Booey's. <laughs> yes, yes, the gobbledygook. All right, so, so back to it. Uh, I'm sorry. I ate enough of your time. We were talking about the upside down or face forwarding or the. <clears throat> I think that you're someone who could use some serious guidance as a stranger. <laughs> so oh, that's my name. Guy Dance. I see. Please. <laughs> Hold on. I have some things I have to do soon, but in about three days, could you meet me on the docks at midnight? Three days. See, the people I'm here with move kind of fast, and I'm worried we might be in jail. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'll visit you in jail. Oh, if there's any chance I could help you on whatever you're tending to? Oh, I... I would adore the company normally, but this is something I must do on my own. <laughs> I don't mean to impose, but I'm quite skilled at all things, really. I'm sure that you are, but you're just a little stranger. I'll cup your chin. And I would hate to see harm come to you until you're more accustomed to what's going <sighs> All right. I'll see you on the dock three days. And if I'm not there, check the prison. Of course. 
he will get up and give a bow and just, just leave. <laughs> All right, you must gather your party before venturing forth. Where All would right, you like to, to go? We're going to poo poo pee beast. <sighs> You're going to the gobble gook. Got it. Going to poo poo pee peas. <laughs> That's why I went AFK. But hold on. Hey, hold on. Catch up. Shit. Goodbye, Roof. Oh my god. Oh, no. <sighs> roof John, no. Hold on, this thing is Try the roof off this motherfucker. There you go. Yes. Apologies. All right. As you enter the general store, you can see that it says Gobblegook up here. And inside you can see all sorts of strange adornments like food, weapons, armor. A literal Ooh. general store. And you see this woman crawl up from behind the counter. <laughs> oh. oh, greetings, handsomes. I am Boo Boo Bee Bee. How may I be of your assistance, my genius? Uh, well, howdy, ma'am. Uh, I'll walk up. Well, hello there. Um, what can I do for you? <laughs> You're slightly disturbing, but I can look past that. Oh, I'm not sure what you mean, dearie. I don't mean to be disturbing, but uh, it's, it's, um, would you like to buy some food or armaments or my What um, was that last part? Mm -hmm. oh. Or maybe, or maybe what? What was the last thing you said? I said armament. No, next. I didn't say anything after that, dearie. Oh, oh, oh! You did say okay. You're just dumb. No, she like mumbled it. She's like, hey, me, 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 me. I heard her just fine. Well, yeah, because you're standing right there. I'm all the way over here and down here, all right? I'm here if you require my assistance, dearie. Well, there are quite a few things that uh, we would like to purchase. Um, first off, what currency do y'all deal in? We deal in the standard currency of Heart City. <laughs> teeth. <laughs> okay, so he's out of the truth. It's teeth. <clears throat> the car breathes an audible sigh of relief. <laughs> all right well uh, to load off that would have been really awkward if we traded all of our gold for yep. useless teeth mm -hmm. we could just go rob that guy and then you know what would be even weirder is the fact that he had 600 teeth on him <laughs> <laughs> I do love teeth I apparently all of you do I um, bet you do ma'am so anyway um, looking for potential armaments for a couple of our compatriots here. Well, what's the Hark deal with the, the gems or something? Oh, or I... Crystals? I don't sell crystalline gems, unfortunately. That would be my neighbor. But I do have plenty of armaments for you. Food, supplies. Oh, what, what, what kind of armor you got around here? Wait, what was that last one? Yes. Oh, armors. I have all sorts of armors, dearie. boo boo bee bee will see that you are covered. <laughs> <laughs> what wonderful thank you ma'am and then uh one last thing i was told that you might have some modifications mechanical i point to my face oh you mean replacements dearie why yes i have some of those but they are terribly too sexy for you <laughs> excuse me what I don't think that you'll be able to handle my augmentations, adventurer. I would like your strongest augmentation. You can't handle them, my sweet. Should we leave? Are we? Should we? Oh, is this a private thing? Should we not be here? I'm very uncomfortable. I'm not. Listen to me, Boo Boo Baby. I wish to modify my body so that I may ascend 
to be a robotic god. That's I need doing. your strongest modification. Well, if you think you can handle them, uh, I have two such augmentations. They, um, one is a leg, and the other, the other is a hand. Show them to me. All right, she'll just throw a fucking leg and a hand up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, well, I bet that right there costs... No, I'm not going to do it. Ah, boo, boo. Do it! I just don't know. I don't have it in me. <laughs> that fruit's too low-hanging. <laughs> uh, do I know what these might do for me? By chance? Or will I need to rely on her? Uh, you'll have to ask her. What might these do? Well, the leg allows you to walk. And the hand <laughs> to grab things. But, uh... Oh, you mean more than your own flesh, yes. Yes. Well, yes. you see, this model, <laughs> and she holds up the leg, allows you to do things such as... And then she'll activate it, and it has a spring jump function. It has a blowtorch in its heel. And it has a compartment for a, uh, for a weapon inside of it. I'm gonna heal kick people? Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. And the hand has an array of different tools that can be switched and changed when needed. Ooh. We got a trick hoof and a Swiss army hand. I could let them go for the low, low price of 800 teeth. 800 teeth? It's like all of our teeth. Man, I'm wishing I traded that teeth. All right, look. Hey, 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 before you go, you know, buying all sorts of hands and legs and what have you, uh, what can I, let me take a look at your armor here, uh, ma'am. Oh, you wish to see my armor? Yes. Uh, yes, I do. Right over Whoa. here. She oh, moves. shit, she's fast. She Whoa. moves very fast. You did, you did that and crashed my map tools. <laughs> oh, no. oh, no, wait. Okay, we're good. Oh, oh, hi, hi. Right over here. You see, uh, these are different pieces of armor, even though the map tool shows it differently. <laughs> <laughs> what does she smell like? Uh, she smells like cobwebs and butterscotch hard candy. <laughs> That's an oddly specific combination. Um, you see, the armor here is created from various crystals to keep you safe. Would you like some crystalline armor? Crystal armor? Now you, now you're talking. Ooh. Uh. What would the equivalent, like, do they have the equivalent of whatever would be, like, plate mail or plate armor? Yeah, they have plate armor. Oh, cool. Uh, how much would your, uh, heaviest armor be? Oh, that would... Um, yep. <clears throat> 150 teeth. 150 teeth? Well, hey, Pipe! Pipe is currently looking at the arm and leg, examining Pipe. him. Completely ignoring Huck. He hears him. Pipe! He completely hears him I'll, and is ignoring I'll, him. I'll take it. Just bill him. Put it up. Put it on the bill for him. You've got it. Well, thank you kindly. Wait, what, what kind of crystal is this made out of? No, oh, it's made out of volcanic crystal, dearie. Lightweight and strong, and will keep you safe from the. Denizens of the bowels play. Is it is it magical? No, not in hand. Oh. So what did Huck just buy? Uh, plate armor. Hell yeah! Of which I didn't have before. Nice. Wait, what yeah. kind of armor did you have? I've been wearing chainmail since we started this. That's not bad. No, it, it's not bad, but it'll put my AC at 20, which is nice, especially for having a two-handed weapon. Mmm. Yeah. Uh, 
so does magic work differently here we yes. gotta like what i because i overheard a little bit of what pipe and the and essentially Karen were um if I got this right, short and long rest will not restore your spell slots. You need to actually hit up a magic crystal. Okay. You gotta inject it. It's a suppository. <laughs> you gotta you gotta huff that beefy. crystal, man. You gotta <laughs> huff it. Hey, I love this place. <laughs> it, to so, be clear, it yeah. is not a suppository. I did not say that. C could it be? <laughs> oh my god. I mean, god. I guess anything is if you're brave enough. Oh my god. Is this the is this the weapons over here? Yes. Hold on. Hey lady. Yes. You got any magic weapons? <laughs> right over Scrubbo here. Scrubbo Moon walks over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have oh you said magic we I'm sorry, yeah, magic. dearie. I do not have magic weapons. I only have crystalline weapons for sale. Did, it, it, are there any guns in here? You mean vessels? No. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay. It, it, does anything look it, especially like out of the ordinary or like would be like exotic? Um, there is one of the weapons, which is a fine piece of wire wrapped around a gauntlet. Oh, shit. Is it piano wire? <laughs> uh, it is monofilament Whoa. wire, actually. Whoa. What? what, what? What kind of weapon is that mechanically? Uh, that would function as a whip that does a fuck ton of damage. <clears throat> and whips are exotic, right? Oh yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. All this is all very cool. What's the most expensive thing you got, lady? My love. Big pipe. Slow. Oh. Oh. F. Fuck. <laughs> You're back. Oh, my back. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, we got we got the fuck. What's, that was, yeah. what, what's the most expensive thing you got, lady? My love. Okay, well, I'm not interested in you because you're old. Oh. Sorry, just uh, being honest. I'm sorry, could I perhaps sell you a weapon? <laughs> <sighs> no. Uh, you, you, I guess you're, you're full stock then. Yes. It's all right. So I take it trading... Is out of the question for this uh, this hand and leg combo? Yes. Just put them back. <laughs> you either have the teeth, Derry, or you do not. Boo -boo BB uh, is nobody's fool. Hey, show us the most big, expensive thing you got. Big Pipe starts eyeing Scrumpo. What did you do? I didn't do anything. She will pull out. Well, I suppose there's this. Qua bam And she will pull out a bowl. A bowl that has a orange fire inside of it. What's that? Ah, this, my dear, is something very special. This can summon the spirits of the dead. Like, to bring back the dead, or... To speak with them. It is a oh. bowl of... Conduiting. Conduiting? So, Conduits? I don't know, you're the expert. Conduitits? Could we speak to Ronnie? A bowl of seance, yes. So, I, I mean, did, does it have a certain amount of uses? Or what? Mm. Mm. Do you know any dead people? I think I know one very recently, actually. Well, any that are here. I don't think we need a bowl to talk to you, guy. You're just... That's you're just, what I'm saying. <laughs> Specifically, these allow you to speak with spirits. She's trying to scam you. She's changing the words every time. Well, I'm going to go next door to Pee Pee Poop Shop. And give me a crystal. Yeah, hey. Look, I wish you the best, but I don't talk to the dead because clearly they're dead because they've failed, and I don't associate with losers. I don't associate myself with any oh, of these people. Can oh, I just also, see that hand one more time? We talked to the spirits of elves, and we didn't have a bowl, all right? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Boo Boo Bibi will put away her most prized possession. Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> I don't associate myself with him. Can I just take a look at that hand one more time? Do you have the teeth for it, Derry? I have quite a few teeth, yes. Do you have enough I teeth? I, I don't think I can purchase the arm and leg combo if, if they don't get sold separately. Oh, no, that was each, Derry. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Huh. Thanks for the armor, ma'am. Wait, wait, Alma, you sold, you spent our teeth? Yeah, 150. Listen, when you're on the front lines, you can buy whatever the hell you want. <laughs> <laughs> but I am on the front lines with you. Mm-hmm. I'll remember that next time you want haste. In, in the back of your mind, you can hear Scrumpo suggesting that you steal it. <laughs> <laughs> steal it. Considering how fast she is, I don't think I could keep yeah, up with her. Yeah, bad idea. No. Yeah, I don't want a Link's Awakening shopkeeper situation. <laughs> Change my name to Thief on map tools. Uh. Okay. Do I know specifically what the uh, hand can do? Because you said it was just various tools. It is. It, 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 uh, it's okay. So it has things like thieves tools uh you know it can cut wire it has other functions that your character wouldn't know about because they're tools that are specific for this place you okay. know things like that but it's essentially a, a multi-tool interesting multi-tool hand interesting really want that leg god i want that i want i want the fucking rocket boot heel kick knife leg thing it's only one leg it's only one leg, but I could afford it if I sold the Violet Blood, but man, oh man, I don't want to do that. Why not? <laughs> because I I've already been should, told um, it You know, I actually... See... I'm going to show it to her. Yeah. What are you showing her? <laughs> Woo! I want to show her the, uh, the vial of the Violet. All right. Well, thing. I, I know that you said maybe a, a, a barter would be out of the question, but I was just talking a little bit ago with the merchant from the bar. They were willing to offer a thousand teeth for this. Oh. Who are they, dearie? I'll give you both of these armaments right now, or augments right now if you give me that. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh but that's like 1600. Oh, wow. What did I, I just look at that? What is this? That, dearie, is potent. Man, making it seem like as important as literally anything possible and I just want to I just want to trade it now for some leg for a leg and a hand wait if that's potent then what's your rich tan you know what you're going outside <laughs> <laughs> that's like a one out of ten <laughs> <laughs> I'm corralling Shutter you into the canceled. I'm corralling you <laughs> yeah. into the I'm Corralling you into the shame stables. Yeah, that's fine. I deserve it. Welcome, friend. <laughs> oh, give me a home. <laughs> Just sitting outside in the shame stable. All right. So, from like an out of character point of view, I kind of want to get rid of this vial because I know it can do some really fucked up shit. I really well, don't want to ruin this. Look. You should be playing your character. Your character doesn't know the implications of that vial. No, I don't. I just know that it was like one person offered me a thousand. I go next door, sixteen hundred, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, you're not very good well, at negotiating. I'm well, not. Your, your character is very smart and would probably realize that. Oh yeah, uh, I don't want to sell it. The I price is it, it's almost doubled in the span of a couple of minutes, so it's probably more valuable than these people can even afford. Especially if she's willing to push it off like that real quick. It's like, oh, 
I'm going to change my store policy and I will definitely barter for this thing that I said I wasn't going to do before. So. Hmm. Uh, ultimately, I don't give a fuck. You can give her that file right now, get those hands and legs and scrub up and be like, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Robo. I want to keep, you know what? I'm going to keep bartering. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to shop around some more. I mean, you were very quick to change your deal. Ubu Bibi will give you more for that if you wish. <laughs> she wants it so bad. What can you pop? What can you offer me? I'll, I'll I'll just be blunt here. This this I I don't even know what to describe this as. Clearly, everybody here wants it. She will place her hand on her hip and crack her back so she can stand up straight. Holy shit! And she will saunter towards you. <laughs> that depends on what you want from me, Bibi. I'm going to plant my eggs in your abdomen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to modify myself to become a ro become a robot. It's what yeah, I wish. Yeah. I wish to remove the weakness of my flesh. Oh, but it's so much fun. Excuse me? Her, her extra mandibles on her sides will start to uh, quiver in anticipation. Is anybody else in the room besides me? Nope. No, you have chosen to be alone. <laughs> we all feast out. Oh, boy. It's too bad. I'm an expert in all this. She will, ch she will <laughs> chitter with excitement. And this is how I die. <laughs> <laughs> I will give Stranger you the hand. Danger. I will give you the leg in the hand, and myself on the fire. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Are you still standing there because you're thinking about it? No, I'm. No, I'm still. I'm still standing here because I'm. I know she can out fucking outrun me, and I'm trying to not make sudden movements of running away. <laughs> give in to your flesh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start slowly backing up and I'm gonna scream. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> We're waiting outside. Me for you, meanwhile, so. in the shame stables. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that night, wait, what? <laughs> uh, Huckle, Huckle. Huck, you, uh, Busted. you come into a scene of Boo Boo BB slowly approaching Big Pipe, uh, her, her extra mandibles undressing herself. Whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, get away from this crazy man. Hey, well, put those hands in the pockets now. We're uh, uh thank you very much for your hospitalities. We'll see you around. <laughs> the mancubus noises. Um, uh but we did buy the armor, right? Like the yes. armor was purchased. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I don't I never paid her, by the way. <laughs> oh. Um, I'll I'll grab 150 teeth and just open oh, no, the I just throw them in. <laughs> Here. <laughs> She'll start gathering them up, distracted. <laughs> just toss them in there like caltrops. Okay, so before we get into the next store, we're just out here. Yeah, right here. You're in the street. Just, okay, so I just, I, I quickly look around. Is there like an alleyway we can like walk into yeah. real quick? Yeah. All right, well, let's walk into an alleyway. I'm going to assume that this right here would be... There you go. All right, so I bring out the vial. Okay, so I don't know what in the fuck this is, but everybody wants it. Yeah. And it's I like... don't... I don't know why. But you... Is it... You kind of scammed me out of mine. See, I had that, and everyone wants it, and I wanted it, and then you mirrored me. Come well, on. it's not my fault. I think you owe me that. Wait. I, guy, listen, guy, I'm willing to come to a trade here. I'm the one that got the sample in the first place. Wait, guy drank it. So he knows what it what it does. It's it's nonsense. I saw a bunch of visions of different people in How much did different you drink? places. I don't know. It was an old dried up turkey. It didn't have much left. I mean Whoa. like I mean I, I don't Maybe you could take like a drop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. you, you do a little microdose. On the tongue. I mean, what have you heard about it? You've been waving it around. Well, all right. So essentially, it can be turned into one of the most powerful crystals of this entire 
whale. Uh, I offered it to that lady with the tail, and she was willing to give me a thousand teeth. I decided I would shop around. I showed it to the lady in there, and she went insane. And uh, she offered me the arm and the leg, which or the uh, or the hand and the leg, and that would be sixteen hundred. And then she offered me herself and started going crazy. And oh, she did say love was her most valuable thing. Yeah. She's she, highly overrating herself. Yes, yeah, she yeah. is. Anyway, I, I think wasn't there some very... sort of scholar we were going to meet that would be trustworthy and know things? Yeah, let's wait for that. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll keep let... this in hiding for now. Look, we need to be on our guard, all right? Yeah, no, I mean, there's already two people that know that I have this, so, you know. We, anyone who walks up behind us all weird like, we gotta give them the business, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, actually, while we're back here alone, I might have to... This would be a good time to bring something up. What? Uh, we need to join that cult. Oh, excuse me? Oh, um, okay, no. it's, actually, it's a good excuse plan. Excuse me? He has a good plan. He has a good plan. Okay, everybody, listen. So, first of all, we don't know if they're actually crazy. Like, what if we join the cult and everyone's, like, making a lot of sense, right? Number two, if they're not making a lot of sense, then we kill them from the top down. Yeah. You think Calcutash is a round circle, don't you? <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> what does that mean? What is the context? Are there not round circles? <laughs> Listen, everybody knows Calcutash is pyramid shaped, but that's beside the point. Uh, I know that's, that's what I've been saying. They're, they're all plates stacked on top of each other. <laughs> mm, well, there's an idea. Yeah, he's he's suggesting we infiltrate their cult. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I think you infiltrating got the, the cult is one thing, but joining them, I, I, well, I don't, we, I don't, we don't have to thing. actually do anything. Okay, I have to say, I was talking to someone from the cult, and he said a lot of very interesting things. I don't think they're all the bad Just guys. Just because he's a vampire doesn't how, mean that you join him. It how, wasn't because how, he was a vampire. Was it because he was a very good-looking vampire? But no, the whole concept of being upside down, doesn't it sound delightful? No! no I'll, I'll flip you upside down right now. Here, give me your ankles. That I'll help him. going to wash over us and dissolve us. Here, check <laughs> well, this look. out. I'll just pick, I'll just throw Guy over my shoulder. There, what do you think? Air <laughs> works. It's uh, better. I like the touch of flesh on flesh. <laughs> oh my god. That's right. Listen, he says as he gets down. Yeah, I'll let him down. These people have lived here longer than us. They didn't just come up with some weird upside down plan because they pulled it out of a hat. There must be a reason. Well, by the sounds of it, they went insane after oh. trying to find a way home that did not involve dying, which well, is what they're right. going to do. Hey, Car, you want to go home, yes? I do, and actually, I, I like this plan. It's because you can fly. Yeah, you'll avoid the acid. You won't die, but the rest of us will die. Actually, well, depend I mean, I might be able to find safety. I got like this thing that can make me fly for like a minute, but it's only like a minute, you know? I, I, don't, I don't mind this plan at all. Why don't we talk to Arendel first? So, you know, he doesn't kill us. And then well, we can do all the infiltration we, we want. If I we say, reveal I, ourselves. I like this. You know what? I'm deciding with a car on this. I'm going to stand by you. I mean, we're not picking teams, but oh, yeah. uh, Huxia too. Great. <laughs> uh, we're picking teams. Majority oh, your, rules. What are you doing? Is we are the lords of flowing water. Majority rules. The same team. They're but, on the same team. <laughs> I, I like the I like the plan. I just think we should, you know, talk to the to, talk to the Arundel guy first. Do you think it is wise to reveal our hand to someone who could thwart us? I'm not saying I mean, tell him what we listen, plan to do. Half this, this good town gauge. probably now knows I hold the. Contaminants of the most powerful crystal. We're all gonna die soon anyway. No, not on my watch. And Scrumpo strikes a cool pose. Make all a performance right, let's... check. Let's see how convincing you are. <laughs> a what check? Performance check. Show me your okay. pose. 20. Do it. That's a good pose. Oh my god. All right. Oh my pose. god. Hands on his hips. Chin I'm, up. I'm gonna jump in and per I'm gonna like do a back to back with him. All right. <laughs> And this will convince everyone to join our plan. <laughs> the four of us are down <laughs> to join. Scru if not five. Scrumpo gains inspiration. Yeah! Come on, doesn't <laughs> it look cool over here? 
<laughs> Extremely I, cool. They do I'm look really kind of cool. I'm still sort of confused as to why we're divided. I think we all said we were going to do it, yes? <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think Huck didn't say yes oh, or no, but... But we're going to be in there with this arrow. I'm joining in on this pose. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I don't even need to explain myself. <laughs> well, I'm... Would you guys agree with each other? We're infiltrating. I, let me... Let me get this straight. Y'all want us to join a cult? Yeah. We're sort of already in one. I just feel it out for a bit, Huck. Live the life. When in Rome, uh, somewhere else, I don't know. <laughs> when in roaming space. Ro roaming <laughs> sphere. <laughs> I think I've heard that before. Um, so, you want to join a cult, and if it turns out that the cult's right, you want to go on with their plan, and if they're bad, then we just... Then we just the start cult. smashing jaws, getting teeth, getting paid. <laughs> yeah. Mm, that does I like nice. it. We're in agreement. So after we get done shopping, let's go see that guy at the mine. All right. Well, well actually, hold on. I see. I was talking to someone from the cult, and he said to meet him in three days on the docks. Well, I mean, I don't think it'll take us three days to go to the mines. Yeah, they said it was close. <laughs> okay. See, but then I'm going to go to prison, and then he's going to find me anyway because we're going to do worry. something weird. Look, I pledge will to not. Be I pledge, fine. I pledge to not break the law for three days at least. <laughs> <laughs> Is that <laughs> who, who was on the mine you... again? Remind me. Arendelle. Why are we going to the mines? I actually. But what, but what if they oh, see right, us right, with right. Arendelle and they don't trust us anymore? Tell well, them that we're we, we're gaining their trust as new outsiders, and that we're going to use our new position as newly anointed uh, outsiders to influence him. I don't think something. it works that way. You can't play the middle. But yeah, the double. No, not middle. Just play the double agent thing. That's, we need to full commit compelling. and make it seem like we're real cult people. Live the life. So, so why doesn't in... one of us go and then disguise ourselves or some, something like that? You know, just, to, you know. Yeah, somebody I, who can, like, change the way they look on demand. We, we I, might have I a lot of that. teeth, but we're pretty broke on information. I can do that. But also, Guy could do it, but it sounds like he's into the cult thing. Yeah, it's uh, not going to be me, because I got too also, much in the trunk to be anybody else. <laughs> I, I have to say, I, at first I thought the upside down was a metaphor. It, I initially thought about the shadow fell. See, what happens if we went to the Shadowfell and then traveled through the plane, through the nether, to go back to Calcatesh? Uh, dang. You're really out there right now. I mean, my brain is expanding. <laughs> I can see Ever since it. that psionic wave of a giant whale in space burst through my body, I've really been thinking. <laughs> well, first things first, let's check the shop. Yeah. And I promise to not show the vial of Violet to anybody else. Okay, okay, so, look, I'll be watching our back, all right? Make sure no one sneaks up on us. Yeah, look out for the crazy old lady. Yeah. God, I've seen things I want to unsee. <laughs> <laughs> she started undressing herself! I, wait, does one of these smell butter scotch? <laughs> I think I... Oh, my God! <laughs> Let's go. Is that a, is that a window? Sign. Yeah, it's a window. <laughs> ah! <laughs> she goes to the window is like slowly clawing at it let me out uh, not you all right here we go hopefully i don't fuck up the roofs this time roof be gone hey it's gone all right dang i walk in all right and as you walk inside you see this fellow oh right there Ooh. Scrub leans against the next to the door. Greetings and salutations to you. I am Barnabas Brellick. I am the proprietor of the jewels of the sea. Welcome. Hey, you um, seem slightly less insane than the last one. Hold up. Insight check. Go ahead. This guy putting on off. Oh, never mind, don't talk to me. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not paying. I'm not paying any attention to his act. I'm not going to insight check. How may I assist you, travelers? Oh, it seems that you are strangers. What a stupendous day! A special discount just for you. Thanks. You are uh, most much? welcome. How much is this discount? It is ten percent. Wow! Wow! Really great. Yes, we'll uh, take your finest crystals. Oh, so, very good. I have many crystals. 
and a tutorial on what they are. Of exactly course! Right. <laughs> Prepare your brains to be uploaded with information from I, Barnabas Burlick. Yeah, all right. Yeah, we're ready. Okay. <clears throat> you now enter the tutorial. The various spell slots of clerics and wizards can be cast on this plane by the using of these crystals. If you possess a crystal and consume it in its entirety, it will restore all of those spell slots or lower. So therefore, if you have a white crystal which only affects the first level of your spells, you will only receive all of your first level spell slots back. If you have a let's say, orange crystal, then all of third level spells and lower will be restored. For that is how it works. <laughs> and they have a residual cost that increases exponentially in terms of how many teeth. What? Uh, what if uh, perhaps you had a, uh, a violet crystal? <laughs> then I would immediately ask to purchase it from you. And then no, no, what I if would... you had one? How oh, does that one if work? If I had one, I wouldn't fucking be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? Because I would finally be able to exit this fucking hellhole of an existence. Uh, oh, stop there. What? Do you mean exit isn't metaphorically because you're going to you're so happy you're going to ascend? I mean literally fucking Lee. <laughs> oh. Where are you from, guy? Uh, you know, right? No, I mean... Uh, oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Yeah, it yeah. happens, I know. Com comma, lowercase g. <laughs> <laughs> childhood. <laughs> <laughs> he, will, he will say, I come from a land. A land of beauty. A land of... A land that I have missed for so long. What is it called? I come from a wondrous place called Rampart. You ever hear of Calcatesh? No. Sounds stupid. It is not stupid. Yeah. No, yeah, you know it, it is. Kind, nah, yeah, nah, right. It kind of is. It kind of is. <laughs> Six out of ten, Max. In either case, I would seek such a violet crystal because they are the only crystals that can be used in the wound. I'm sure the wood. The wound. Isn't that where a baby comes from? No, that is a <laughs> womb. Oh, that's what you said, right? No, I said no, wound. He said wound. As in, like, if I was yeah. to scratch you, you would have a wound. Wait, what's the wound? It is called the wasting wound. It is a great injury that the, that the beast Quirk bears on the brunt of its belly. But you see, this is what the most do not tell you. It is what the Optic Academy tries to keep secret. <laughs> For Quag was injured not by blade or by spell, but by a ship. Ship? What kind of ship? A ship that can sail the astral sea, it is said. Wait, some kind of ship for being out in space? Yes. That's ridiculous. Yes. We're in a giant whale and that's where you're drawing the line? I'm not even sure space is real. Actually, we're in a giant whale trading for gems with teeth. <laughs> well, listen, everybody's got to have their limits. <laughs> you see. So does the crystal power the ship and you could sail it home? That is what the forbidden texts have said. That is what the first spoke of before they were exiled into the bowels. So, so question. Okay, okay, you go, you go. Okay. Uh, so let, let's say a white crystal. How would you create such a basic crystal? Create? No, my dear lad. You cannot create them. You must find them. Hence their rarity. Ah. So I, I take it that finding a violet crystal is clearly out of, the, out of the talks here. You can't just create one. Well, that is where things get a little weird. It is said that the violet crystals do not occur naturally. That you must have some sort of catalyst agent that if combined with a prism, well. What's a uh, prism? 
The prism is normally the highest form of these crystals. A crystal containing every color. Well, what happens if you're, like, not good at doing anything with magic and you use a prism? That is the beauty of Quirg. Not being good at magic is irrelevant. But you see... And the only thing that made me special is... You can focus <laughs> upon it. And it will grant your will. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, How this, uh, this wound you mentioned, uh, whereabouts would that be? Far to the south. You must cross the boiling sea. And there, you will find a small contournment where the sea spills directly into the astral sea. The great Whoa. wound has been attempted to be sealed by many. What most don't realize is that dear Quirg is slowly bleeding to death. Oh. Oh, is your way to shave them? They are doing what they can. Mostly, they restore the blood by sacrificing themselves. It is, a, it is a dark business. Wait, who does it? The, the university? No, 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 no. The Star Seekers. Who are they? The Star Seekers are, well, they are a faction that lives within the wound. They are attempting to revivify the, the, the great ship so that we all might escape this place. Quag is... Quag is not a natural place for people such as us to live. I fear that we cause more damage to the great whale than any kindness we could ever provide to it. We are but an infection, and the great beast is too kindly not to see us killed. So perhaps the greatest kindness we could do would be to um, get the fuck out. Exactly! As I have said, but some have been born here. They say that Quag is their home. They don't understand the truth! Uh, can I throw a hypothetical at you? So, like, let's say you have a prism here for sale. How much would it be? I do not have a prism for sale. They are far too rare. Ah, you know, that's such a shame of a hypothetical. Hypothetical number two, where would we find one? <laughs> it is said that only the council members of the academy have access to the prisms. Well, you mentioned, uh, I, I like books. I'll just preface this. With, uh, <laughs> you, you mentioned some forbidden texts by the firsts? Yes, by the firsts. As in the first Quergians? Querga. Querga? Hmm, yes. The first Querga. They are referred to as the first. They are beings of strange makeup, almost like... They are almost unto elves, such as myself, but they are, they are far different. It is even said, as he leans in in a conspiratorial stance, it is Big even... choked when upon hearing elf. It is even <laughs> said that they settled here on purpose. They came to Queer looking for a home? Yes, it is a strange thing. Why do you want to live in a big whale? I do not know. But in I'm either case, that is all I know! Hold on, quick clarification. The wound was caused by the ship slamming into Quirg. Apparently. Okay, so you think the ship is somewhere around there? I do not think, I know. I have seen it myself. Oh. So these star seekers are they protecting it? They seek to unravel its mysteries. But as much as they have tried, the only way to power the ancient engines is by the power of a violet crystal. Okay. Right. Well, look, man. Between <clears throat> you and us, uh you know, we're not really interested in that. So, but uh, th we appreciate you telling us. Yeah, you got any uh, orange crystals for sale? Yes, I do. 300 teeth apiece. Oh, uh, what? Jeez. Sex balls. Question. How much? I saw, I saw one of the people brandishing this earlier. Do you have vessels? I do. How much might those be? I have basic vessels here, as he pulls out a pistol. It is... <laughs> I could let it go for... A hundred. 
teeth. Oh. And then, we could, and then we could put an orange crystal inside of it? Sure. And then it just kind of... Well, I, she brandished it in front of me. I don't know what it actually does. How many uses do you get out of one crystal? We're very new, obviously. Well, <laughs> it is, the crystals just provide the energy. The efficacy of its use is dependent upon the quality of the vessel. My particular vessels, the basic kind, are, uh, they could be better, I suppose, but they are good enough. You will see three uses out of them. So you put a crystal inside a vessel, you could shoot yourself with it three times and it will, you know, pop your magic back, yeah? No, 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 no. You, you, may, you may fire it through a vessel and it will create the effect that the vessel has listed. And anyone can do them, regardless of their magical inclination. And only three uses? Yes. Poor Chris. Seems, that seems pretty expect. I feel like it could get expensive very quickly. Well, of course. That's why you pur that's why you purchase the better vessels. Oh, better vessels mean more uses. Oh, show me your finest vessel. Yeah. Very well. This man will pull out a Winchester-looking rifle. Oh my God, mm, boy! Howdy, my bounty. Oh, big bug gets real close to the counter on that one. Wee -wee. Oh, I unsnap myself. I get real close to the counter. All right. This is the finest vessel that I possess. It is the uh, Winion Mach 2. Like insider arcana check that. Uh, unapplicable. You have no knowledge of this. It's... I have no knowledge. Yeah. Gotcha. And he will, anyway. say, he will continue to say, he will continue to say, he will continue to say, you could see 10 uses out of this. Oh, he's just, he's just looking it over. Oh, and how much might this be? 700 teeth. Oh my. So to clarify the, the vessel or the crystal breaks after those uses. The, the, the crystal is expended. Okay. Uh, now, if we put an orange crystal in this, what would it do? It depends on what is inscripted within. Here, observe, and he will show you. All right, so this is how this works. Each vessel has a series of spells that you get to choose when it's made for you, or it's randomized, and those okay. spells may be cast through it. Um, so some crystals may not function. Well, okay, it works like this. When you use a crystal, the crystal represents the spell slots. The vessel mm -hmm. possesses the listed spells that you can use through it, and the crystal mm -hmm. always uses the spell, the highest spell level that it has whenever it's used in this manner. So, if you put a third level crystal, which is an orange one, into mm -hmm. a vessel with magic missile, it will, when you fire mm -hmm. it and you use the magic missile effect, it will always be at third level. Okay. And do vessels only ever have one spell associated with them? Oh, no. Uh, depend, depending on the quality of vessel, it could have way more. Um, okay. How this, many would this one have? The one that he is offering you right now has five. Oh, I'm I'm eyeing this thing. And so, just like is is basically like my spellcasting mechanic now kind of worthless. As soon as I burn up those spell slots, they won't recover ever again. No, 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 you, no, no. You, no. Huff a you, you you huff a crystal, and huffing a crystal restores all of your spell slots. Is that so appropriate? So you can either level. huff a crystal or load it into a vessel and fire it. Yeah, but the vessel is more limited than you are, and it's less efficient than you are. So how many how many huffs do I get per crystal? Okay, so what what happens is is that you uh depending on the power of uh, the potency of the crystal, um let's say what level are you guys seven six six six, six? okay six so that means you have access to third level spells. So right. uh, if you took an orange crystal and you huffed it you would restore all of your third level, all of your second level, all of your first level spells. Essentially like a long rest. It is an instant long rest for you. And how many of those do I get per crystal? How many uses of that do I get per crystal? Uh, you only get one use for crystal because it's equal to the amount that you can cast. Okay. If it's lower, so you get more uses. Yeah. So in this case, it's going to cost 300, 300 teeth per long rest, essentially. That is correct at this time. But yeah. the long rests are instant rather than right. you have to wait. Right, right, right. Also, we so, can you, so they can be done mid-combat. It yes, sounds like can. We, can we can find these crystals, too. Okay. Yes, sir. Okie dokie. Now I well, get it. All right. 
I'm look I'm looking over this rifle. <laughs> they only have I count my teeth. How many teeth <laughs> do we have? I've got twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I actually don't know how many teeth I have. <laughs> now that I think about it, I think it's 20 or 22, 21. How many teeth does the in body a, have? How, yeah, how many teeth does the human mouth? 32. Oh. 32 or 33, yeah. <laughs> Which definitely... teeth do you miss in there, Moon? <laughs> <laughs> Moon's, bi- Moon's missing 12 teeth, dude. Bite. You're a half oh. moon now. I'm from Florida. Twenty is better than average. Is Moon two MD? Is that is that your actual mouth? <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> I've well, got twenty uh, teeth. <laughs> I, I I look it over. We only have let's see four hundred and ninety teeth. We do have other things from our world as we are strangers. Perhaps we could bargain a bit to nope. actually listen pipe. <laughs> Perhaps we might have to do some odd jobs around town in order for. Well, it sounds like we need employment. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm rubbing you... my hand over the gun. Might, might you... we play, do some like uh, he'll investment take, plan? He'll, he'll take it off and put it under the <laughs> counter. Oh, don't do that. And then he'll yeah. say, "If, if you truly, if you truly require such teeth, I suggest you visit the mine." Uh, Why? Well, you may Tell mine. Pain. I rush out. Wait. So you, you're gonna buy the crystals from us if we go mine them? No, go get teeth. Wait. Oh yeah, they grow in the walls, right? Yes. God, that's so gross. Ugh. It's like I'm being eaten right now. We're we're technically being uh, we've been swallowed. I'm not a peasant. What's so? Hey. That's peasant work. <laughs> <laughs> that's peasant work. I mean, technically, none of us are peasants. Hey, sir, we were very important in our world, by the way. Sure were. Let's get out of here. <laughs> hey, look, I gotta go. It was good to meet you. Sir. Indeed. I wish you the most luck. I, Barnabas Brellick, wish you a fine day. And I, Grand Admiral Scrumpo, the most important man from Calcatesh, bid you adieu. Okay. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> All right, where are you guys going now? Sleep for three days. <laughs> um, can we please go to the vein? The... Just a quick, just one sip. Yeah, fine. Let's go to the All vein. All right, we'll go to the vein. We all did your stupid things. Yeah, no, I'm fine with this. I want to see what it looks like. Uh, that map's not ready, but essentially, as you walk up towards the uh, vein, it's essentially just a blood river that goes through the heart city. Okay, don't need a map. Drink that blood. All right. <laughs> so the blood is fattening. Oh. So, uh, so although you were able to easily uh, fend off your your thirst, uh, guy immediately gains five pounds. And and then you become like a keto. Dude, bro. I'll start drinking it and spit that shit out. Oh no! Oh no! My slim, sexy finger. <sighs> it was too good to be true. <laughs> it's like a metal slug status effect. <laughs> All hey. right, let's go mine teeth. Whatever you. So they said that Arendelle's at the mine. Should we just avoid him? Or I could look. I can make. I can disguise myself with magic, so I could go talk to him. If you, if we want to do that, but otherwise we could just go and, and hit some teeth. I think we go ahead and talk to Arendelle while we're there. Well, Guy's worry was that if we speak with Arendelle publicly, the cult won't trust us enough to induct us into their nonsense. Nah, I think we'll be fine. Plus, I can disguise, you know, how we can disguise ourselves with Arendelle. We can disguise ourselves with the cultists. Yeah, but what if they, like, want us, want us to sleep at their stupid Tower of Cult stuff or whatever, and we have to stay overnight? We're going to have to be... Uh, you know, introduced to the cult. They're going to make us do some weird thing, like... I don't even know. What, do you what, guys prepare somebody to upside do down? M- maybe. The biggest shake. Oh! Mm. My god. 
Well, either way. All right, I just want to say if the quota to join is to like kill 10 people. I don't want you guys to freak out about it. Listen, he brandishes his staff. All I care about is the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys heading to the mines? Yeah. So be mm -hmm. it. Do, 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 do. Hold on, I have to load. All right. The journey takes approximately six hours from Heart City. Here's my cat. And let me load this map for you. So I have a map. Is that helping us get there? Or yep. is it just a map of Heart City? It's helping you get there. There you go. Okay. Mmm. Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> He's got cavities. Go to the dentist. Yeah, seriously, he needs to go to the space dentist. Yeah, jeez. Is it safe to be this close? So, you guys are going to the mines. Yeah. For teeth. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is what the cavities are. Oh. oh. <laughs> is that why we have cavities in real life? Oh my god. Oh my god. I have a gnome in my mouth. I have a gnome in my mouth. There's a centaur clopping around in oh, here. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry about that. Who else do we see in this area? Uh, not many. Some, you see a couple of people working the mines, but they are very distant. This is a, this is a big scale. Uh, here, uh, here you have the great shifting mass of the tongue that moves slightly. Ew. Is this, like, sloped up? Yep. So we wouldn't be able to walk on this? You can't. You'd have to slide down. Also, everything is very wet. <laughs> and there is Was a it? slight pulse beneath your feet. <laughs> this nice. Is the car flies just because he's Ugh. steamed out. Disgusting. All right. Hey, do, you get, do you guys see like a, like a pickaxe around here or something? So do we just go hit his teeth? and? Yeah, why not? Well, I, I, I don't know how this mine actually works. Well, the, the miners are here? probably going to have territories and say, oh, new bloods, get out of here. You haven't earned the right to mine and, you know, all that. Do we, do we see any miners from right here? You see miners, yeah. I suggest that we head over to the miners and give them a chat. Okay. All right. Basically, you can just go up to one of the teeth. All right. I'll bring us to... This tooth. Yeah. Over here. This one. This one. It's got the big ass cavity. You walk over to this point because there's actually connectors like like rope ladders on the side of the tongue that can take you down. Because right yeah. here there's a uh, small pond. Ew. Ew. <laughs> when you get to here though, everybody make me a perception check. Oh yeah, speaking of which um can we see space from here yes you can see the it, astral sea does through it the look crack. awesome yes <laughs> so to give you Holy an idea shit. like like man i want an artist to draw this but so while whenever you get past the tongue and you can see through the cracks in the and the teeth and whatever that fuzzy stuff that whales have i forgot that get the plankton out um you it's basically a forest he has like a protective forest around his teeth but when you Aileen. look alien yeah when you look past that you essentially seen an, like an aurora borealis of atmosphere that Querg has psionically concentrated around himself so that the people inside of him can live. And he's hurtling through the astral sea. And it's like rubbing against that atmosphere and it looks fucking sick. That's awesome. Hell I love yeah. it. Painted on the side of my van. Yeah. Is he asleep right now? Uh, he sleep flies. Mm. Gotcha. So we could just, while we're here, have a noopsie doodle. Correct. Hell yeah. Do you roll for oopsie doodles while we're doing this? I do. Hell yeah. In either case, that's basically what you see. And in addition to that, guy, you spot someone over here at the tip of the tongue. Yeah. Very, I, can't I can't remember his just, name. Oh, it's, uh, his name. I, uh, mm. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, and you see that there is what appears to be some, some kind of robed figure here. 
Hey guys, that's probably the important man. I I, I don't want to be seen around here, honestly. I'll, I mean, I'll I'll go talk with him just fine. I, I don't know why I was more comfortable being inside the boiling stomach, but this is kind of weird. Hold on, I need you guys to block me. Cover me. Why? Why? I need I need to change my appearance. Uh, uh, Huck will just oh. throw a blanket over him. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Scrubby uses his uh, sphere of nebula magic to disguise self, and the, I want to disguise as that one half leg guy that was in our uh, interview. Oh my god, the guy that I wrestled. <laughs> uh, the tilt, the tilt uh, paladin or cleric—I forget which one. Okay. <laughs> Tyler Pureheart. You are now Tyler Pureheart. Hey, how do I look, guys? He throws the blanket off. Rational me. Too young. <laughs> I think that guy, no, I'm definitely way older than, anyway. You look uh, respectable, unless I hate it. Yeah, so, hold on, here's my accent. Hello, everyone. That's perfect. I'm a cleric of tilt. From you sound, oh, God, you God, sound God, just Trump like him. <laughs> right, okay, I believe you. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to talk to this guy. I'm really worried about Scrumpo. <laughs> Yeah, Who's I should Trumpo? be that. All right. How long does it take us to cross this tongue? Uh, ten minutes. Okay, oh, right. this is a big. All right, this is a big tongue. Yeah. I know this is gross, but I'm so happy with this map. He did such a great job. Yeah, this, is, this is a really <laughs> sick map. I yeah, like it. Yeah. it reminds me. It reminds me of the opening of Jabu Jabu from Ocarina of Time, where you walk into his mouth. And you get mm. like the teeth. And, and you see uvula. this man. Reminds me of Naruto. Mm. Oh, wait. You know, this is the very first like handout that I actually know the character. Like the character, not the person that you have him named. You know what I meant. Yeah. Is it from Baldur's Gate? No. Magic. Magic the Gathering. Oh. oh. Mm. All right, when you get to this point, you can see that this man is apparently channeling magic and looking out over, uh, basically looking out into the Astral Sea. A look of concern uh, big, on his face. Big Pipe slowly makes his way up. As to not, like, disturb what he's doing. Uh, hello? And the man will slowly turn and will say, It is with great fortune that you have come during this time. I know not your names, but I know where you come from. Oh, really? Where? The radiant light that swirls through this world has revealed to me that you are strangers, and not just any strangers, but you carry with you a great burden. I am Arendelle, and I shall be like your guide. Get Hello. back in the lantern. Hello, I'm Toilet Pure of Till. Oh, that's our friend. That's the giant burden. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> well met. <laughs> um, so, uh, what seems to be the trouble? There are many things that we must speak of. But first, I require your assistance. You're yeah, doing what? The miners have dug too deeply into the teeth, regardless of my warnings. What'd you do? Give him a... You break, you break one of his teeth? There are dark things that lurk within the mandible. Oh. Terrible All right. things. You want us to go take care of him? I can go do that right now. Within, sure, yeah, we'll go kill some. Within the root canals, a darkness was summoned. Uh. Oh, no! <laughs> right? Uh... Well, that doesn't sound very good. Can you give us a few more specifics on these tooth demons? They are spirits of those that have died within the cavities, twisted by hate and sorrow. Oh, is oh, that all? That, that's so sad. So you want us to go and uh, kill them? Yes, please. 
You must yeah, I mean, dispel uh, them. It is the only way. Because you see, get... only... <sighs> they are being summoned. Unnaturally. The ritual is unseemly. And I do not know whom is doing it, but we must put these spirits to rest. For if they crack the teeth more, that we may lose our shield. He will gesture towards the teeth and to the raging atmosphere on the other side. Oh! Uh, I, right. I see your point. We should probably go take care of that. Sure, yeah, let's go do that post-haste. When you think that you have found one of them, use this, and he will hand you a scroll. Oh good, here's an important item we can forget to use 90 fucking times. <laughs> this scroll will see that they are sealed once they are defeated. It is a ritual by the Optic Academy. Does I think it have any secret words like Baba Booey? Yes. Its command, Master. its command word is gingivitis. God, <laughs> son of a... I was gonna ask if you could change it, but not nah, like that one. That's your name. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Should we yeah. give this guy a brush and floss and then everything's all good up here? Yes. I will There's attend no to the ones to the south. All, all right. Well, point us in the right direction, I, I suppose. You must seek the cavities. Oh, you, I, I look at this giant crack. You mean that? Yes, I shall handle this one. Oh, which one is he pointing to? The one that I pointed to or the one? Oh, okay, gotcha. Well, I mean, we can go handle that. Yeah. Oi, Oi friend, I wish ye luck from tilt, my god. <laughs> of friendship. Don't listen to him. He had a lot of. He actually just had some dental work done, so the Novocaine's not totally worn off yet. So he's talking a little funny. This is my real voice. This is real voice. Sure is. Sure is. I'm Tyler Pewhart. I pinch. Oh, I pinch him very hard to see if he changes his tone. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, strangers. We will meet when the task is done. Farewell. Hey. <laughs> Easily deceived. <laughs> You're a master of disguise, Rumpo. Teach me your ways. Well, now all you gotta do is change back to normal when you meet him all again. All right. And now, as you guys enter the great cavity, you can see that the caverns within twist and go further down into the jawbone of the great whale. And that is where I will have to don't, call don't, the session. Don't, 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 what? That's it. That's the. Kate, we're there. Six hours of D and D. No, can't do it, bro. There you go. Maybe someday we'll see map four. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, there hey, you man. go. Good job. Nice session, guys. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Welcome. We're back. Welcome yeah. back. <laughs> Thanks for rewriting the entire campaign. <laughs> no problem. I hope you guys like the whale. <laughs> I like the whale. The whale. Great. I like I the whale be, too. I want to be friends with the whale. All right. I like I like how it's serious, but you still kind of gave up, and you're like, "Yeah, we're just gonna name this fucking poo poo pee pee." Well, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Well, hey now. Look, yeah. I'm all, I'm all good for levity names. I'm all good with that. Like uh, one of the first characters you guys met was I need a break. Yeah, I remember. Hey, there was there was no guarantee that Quirg was gonna be a super serious place anyway. I mean, it is serious. It's just I use words like gingivitis. Like, that's all. <laughs> gingivitis is very serious. All it's right? serious. Yeah. There's no joke. A gum disease. Gingivitis. gingivitis. All right. You guys want to see some fan art? Because uh, there's I a... Do. Always. Oh, I really do. This is, this is like my favorite part there's of a... all of oh. Not even playing D&D. My the fan. favorite part is getting to play D&D with my friends. Oh. Good job, Scrumpo. Man, you mimic that one real good. <laughs> Oi, mate! I'm Toilet <laughs> Pewo. <laughs> God. All right, here we go. First up, we have a recap of last episode. Oh boy. 
<laughs> I I love how they kind of make the lantern light look like Zer a little bit. It's funny. <laughs> new season, new planet. What could go wrong? <laughs> Absolutely everything. I love it. No, oh, that's great. I see the fireball. I <laughs> see it. And a fireball. That's cute. Fireball. Current predictions. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. <laughs> We're in the right place. Oh, <laughs> man. LOL. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't do that. Who, who is that? I can't, I can't. I can't even show this. Why? Uh, cause it's like a video embed, and I don't know how to like get it off the screen. I guess I could just move all of Discord. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> let, me, let me let me do that real quick. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. <laughs> oh, shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> the lantern lighter when you guys leave. My lords, I shall rule in your stead as you would have wished. Bring forth the ambassadors in descending order of sexual attractiveness. <laughs> <laughs> He's got us down. He knows us. That's perfect. The Shattered Whale Lords. <laughs> wow. I wow. can't get over... Who, I, who I, made I, this? That's cool. He made it in uh, something called Gimp, I think. Mm. Uh, I can't get over uh, Scattered Clowns. That's scattered so, Clowns? The, yeah. Scattered Clowns is amazing. Me. Scattered Clowns is really getting me. Shattered Crowns 2. Bubba yeeted into outer space. <laughs> That's good. Here's the thing, guys. Guys drinking the whale's blood? That actually happened. That was a good prediction. Yeah. I mean, yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah. Now you just gotta walk around. If anyone's overweight, they're a vampire. Oh. I know the secret. Mm. Oh damn. They Whoa, big. Don't forget about Ronnie. Oh, poor Ronnie. Holy oh. shit, dude. But he looks wow. sick. Wow. Wow. Uh. Yeah, he wasn't like that for us. Comfy <laughs> time guy. Aww. 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 Ooh woo. Three <laughs> <laughs> D guy. <laughs> <He's playing> <gasps> Ooh. Ooh woo. You don't oh, have yeah. your eye. Dude, I had that eye for like three seconds. Wait, did the eye go away? I can't remember. Yeah. yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So Bro. he doesn't have the freaky eye. <laughs> Guy from those specific three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Meow. Meow. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> to give it a little bit of eh? So much blood. <laughs> Before I knew it was tainted. When a car finds a gun and finally can handle the party. Shame. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a sip. That's really good. Scam. <laughs> That's good. That's nice. Pinch your nose and drink. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, he didn't know. I didn't know. Drink this. Guess trust me. me. Yeah. Yeah. Mysterious alien world. Beverage. Just go for it, man. What do you got to lose? Ronnie. <laughs> oh. oh. He was so upset. He extends a wing. <laughs> I like that. It's like how nonchalant that. We're broke. We use teeth. I can't talk to my god. <laughs> we use teeth here. Oh, this is sad. I wonder when the masters will return. Oh. 
He oh. misses us. Oh my god. Uh, we use teeth here. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody... <You> know... <laughs> Just the look on his face. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the propaganda poster for uh, uh, the upside down. The right way is wrong. <laughs> that's good wow that's awesome. that's awesome well where we come from people get stabbed and set on fire <laughs> true whoa who would do that who stab do someone that? and set them on fire I can't even imagine hey I didn't set that guy on fire <laughs> I, mean, I think the second. result was yeah fireball hmm Handsome I mean, if you, tavern keeper. If you wow. buy that gun, you can blame the fireballs on the gun. Hell yeah. Dude, I want to shoot a fireball with the gun. Those were different days. <laughs> <laughs> look to the left. Look Somebody to the us. right. Somebody draw us all looking like behind him the same way, like confused. Like, what the fuck is he looking at? <laughs> Bro, this fucking... <laughs> 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 well done. Um, why, <laughs> nailed it. Why does Guy's it. ass hang out like that? <laughs> He's got a dumper, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's all caked up, even in intergalactic travel. Work with what you've got. <laughs> Seriously, I'm seeing it. Look what at my thigh. What do you think, Jesus. Tom? Why Fuck it... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Name pending. Tom doesn't it... count. <laughs> That's All I'm saying is you could be sucking my toes right now. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> A much needed voice of reason. So didn't you didn't you burn lucky to not suck his yes, toes? Yes, I did. Yeah. I did burn lucky oh, to man. not suck the toes. <laughs> so are you a vampire? I don't know, am I? Listen, you little shit. <laughs> 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 Karen, <laughs> why are you calling? Oh, her? Why, meow. why is she Karen? What's the joke? Her name is Karen Callis. That's all. Oh, I was looking at her. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not her name, please. <laughs> okay. This wow. is amazing. I love this one. <laughs> <laughs> wow hey, hang on can i use that as a banner image on twitter i don't, I don't get it it's the it's the <laughs> ladies yelling at the cat meme oh uh you're gonna have to show me an example because i've never seen it never How? seen that what i'm oh, sure you've seen it i've seen that the, sure the, crying cat, the crying cat the crying cat right right, right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah no i it's know like, i know it yeah, yeah 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 oh wait i just remembered i drew thing Show it. I was. I'm putting it in there. Pulls out her gun. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, it's kind of like slavery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, kind of like slavery. <laughs> we, kind of like it. We have it's history. It's extremely, it's extremely temporary. <laughs> we have history. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go home, live forever. <laughs> Eternal life. Hey, big pipe, don't go spending all of our teeth. I'm not spending anything right this very second. <laughs> <laughs> Merchant pulls. Merchant out pulls out a gun. We, we uh, we might be in a prison. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even know if they have prisons. Oh, this one's cute. Poor guy. He's had it pretty rough. <laughs> no, he hasn't. Oh. Yeah, he has. I don't want to hear it. I forgot about the newborn thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all sort of like blocked it out of our memories. At least I know I did. <laughs> <laughs> you can't handle my wares, bitch. <laughs> That's uh 
Just cuddling. What? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't, I don't know what's happening there. That's the that's the cult I think it's guy in the guy. process. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugly crying guy. <laughs> now see, that's accurate to guy. No. Yeah. After telling no. his life story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's so fast. Mm-hmm. It's okay. <laughs> to Hello, I am poo poo mm. pee pee. <laughs> <laughs> Is this what you made, Stir? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> the name of it this would. is Molar Mommy. Uh oh. That's uh <laughs> gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, wow. That's a lot of mm. tea. Oh, this this big pipe's pretty sick. Well, he better go to the doctor. Oh, yes. I, see what he's I like it. Oh, that's nice. That is cool. Everyone, I look at this super moving. valuable vial. It's super secret. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the armor, lady. Just build a walking, talking ATM over there. <laughs> yeah, that ATM machine is great. You can just say ATM. Wait, what do you mean? It's ATM machine. <laughs> Meanwhile, on Shame Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. We were all put in Shame Street. When you just gotta get your boy out of there. <laughs> this bad boy can fix so many boats. Don't mind the screams of the innocent. <laughs> oh my god, this one's awesome. All I'm saying is the offer's still on the table. He's <laughs> got such good hair. It will always be there. Wonderful feel of the upside down. Wow, look at that point. Damn. I listen, I don't want want <sighs> Oh god. I'm worried about us trying to join the this, cult, but this is whatever. what Big Pipe saw. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Burn my eyes. Oh. <laughs> I miss the friendly orc man. <laughs> Who was that? From like the episode the one in the tavern. Yeah, the dude in the tavern. Greetings, was, like, Korg. Was, yeah. His name is Korg. Oh, the Korg. Uh, Korg. No, Torg. No, it was Torg. 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 Yeah. Okay. He he followed. Uh, he was a paladin, right? Yeah, he was a yeah. paladin. <laughs> Ever since I got here, I can feel my brain expanding. <laughs> 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 oh god that's so horrifying <laughs> I can, I can break, break it, it. Mm-hmm. you can break get infinite teeth oh yeah womb wound that's what I said <laughs> yeah that's what I said god ha- Huck is so handsome there <laughs> <laughs> Arcadum, hear me out. Whales are boats. It's, I mean, <laughs> you think about it. It's a giant boat. Yeah, it is. It's an organic giant boat. Nice uh, and unfortunately, we were never blessed by a fixed whale spell. Yeah. Mm, I, if only. I love this picture. <laughs> this is essentially what it's. <laughs> <laughs> Can you force? Nice pose. <laughs> like, Animal people. Ikar is done. <laughs> Looks like Huck is carrying combat in this Toku campaign. Tokusentai, Tokusentai. <laughs> I did. I did say that. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Oh God, guys, gaining weight. <laughs> no. And Tony's in the background. <laughs> My beautiful figure. <laughs> is that what's happening he's just he's drinking so much blood he's getting fat yeah dad bod guy hell yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh here we go let's join the cult <laughs> <laughs> oh that was actually nice that's really good that's really good that was Ashley dude <laughs> That's so good. 
<laughs> Very cool. God. What the God. hell? Is... I'm so terrified. <laughs> is that, that, that Scrumpo's cool walk. <laughs> he looks like he's doing the fucking Bigfoot pose, you know, where he's like out of focus and like, <laughs> like he's like way far away. You just catch Scrumpo <laughs> accidentally on film. Oh, Ooh. look at this. Give me the oh, gun. Rough, Damn. Rough estimation. Are we 3D printing <clears throat> this? Oh man, stir drew something. Look at that. I Look at that. See it. I see it. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, nice. Oh yeah. yeah. No, I I saw this actually. I saw part of it anyway. I saw the scrumpo part. The most accurate scrumpo. Yeah, I did huck as best as I could. That's fine. <laughs> horses are hard to horses are hard to draw, man. I like I like all the detail, and he's just just a stick figure. I love it. And, whoa! Let's what the fuck? Back. Somebody! Wow! Yeah, there's people that make 3D models of you guys. No, what the fuck? That's sick. pretty crazy. Look at his mustache. I'd hang out with Huck and IRL. and yeah. that is all of them. Oh, there was so many. So cool! Wow! Thank you, everybody, that was some phenomenal art. Heck yeah! Thanks for playing, guys. Thanks, Thanks for having us. us. Heck it's good yeah. to be back. It is good to um, be back. Uh, I'm, I'm ready. very interested in the rest of this campaign. I'm already invested. Heck yeah, man. I can't same wait, Same time dude. next week? Yeah, same time I'm next good. week. I'm down. And next yeah. week, I'll have something before you guys. The other game will start at session zero for you guys. Oh, boy. So you're going to have a sister group. Wow. Wait, wow. what? Wow. Huh. Yeah. Uh, before you guys, at 5 p.m. CST, there's going to be a new game starting, uh, which has, like, Lily, Pichu, and Michael. Basically, all the online offline tv people oh shit yeah so Neat. you're gonna have a sister group it's gonna be awesome yeehaw yeehaw all right thanks for playing guys <laughs> i'll see you next time thanks for having me later bye bye <sighs> man i'm tired why am i so tired <sighs> All right, save the game. Give me just a second. All right. Let's take a little bit of time to uh, hang out with you guys. Because I don't want to stop streaming yet. I'm having a good time. Plus, I have to go back and thank all these subs anyway, so. Hmm. All right, let me save this one more time just to make sure. Oh, there's one more thing. There's one more thing. Hold on. I forgot to show it. Uh, I gotta remember where it was. Hold on. Hold on. I forgot to show it. I'll have this ready next time, but here you go, guys. <laughs> 